Hello everyone and welcome to GTA 5. Yes, we are back. We are ready to be doing some racing. It's a little bit earlier a time uh, today. We're going to get this done so it doesn't clash with the Formula 1. Um but uh, yeah, we are we are back with the usual amount of GTA 5 silliness. There will hopefully be some good racing. There will potentially be some good racing there will probably be some very big crashes along the way and yeah hopefully we can have some fun it's a, this is a little bit of a wonky time a little bit of a different time perhaps to usual um we may have a little bit of a smaller lobby for a while which is not necessarily a bad idea uh but you are always welcome to join and uh, take part in these sessions if you would like uh you can send a message to you and here we go alongside where we have highlighted Ooh. here um yeah send a message to you he will try and get you connected you need to have uh the enhanced version of gta and you need to be playing on xbox Hello, Cass. What are you doing here, buddy? It was a big meow. Uh, but yeah, we're starting this in the uh, in the lobbies because the free roam sessions are quite broken. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Uh, some donations did come in before we started, actually. So while we get people connected, I'll just go through those. Uh, Talkie Toaster, thank you for the donation. Saying hi, Alex. Now, I really enjoyed the concept of uh, track building and racing done on the previous stream. Could we possibly get a stream uh, which helps to build a track? Uh, corner suggestions, stump props, etc. My cat has just knocked over the bin. Cass, Cass, what were you doing? You Oh, he's made a mess. There's, there's just... Oh, bloody cats. Bet, just a second. <sighs> Naughty cat. You're the good cat. You're the good... In fact, Apollo doesn't knock over bins. Like, Apollo has never knocked over the bin in the office. You have. Yeah, you, you can look at me. But, uh, <laughs> that is full distracto cat moment. I do apologise. Uh, <laughs> that was the Bincident 2.0 right there. A very different kind of Bincident. <laughs> We've not even got started. Oh, yes, Talkie Toaster. Uh, we're saying about uh, the track building stream. Uh, with uh, with chat doing corner suggestions, stump props, etc. Uh, maybe even a parallel stream where the Fairways Filming crew does it too. If a stream is impossible, I open to community uh, building a wacky set of tracks as submitted them to yourself or remember the filming crew i love the bookmark tracks you have but the previous stream as you're wanting to see a new crazy build uh it's definitely possible at some point uh there is going to be uh, the sort of track submissions will be opened whenever i remember uh so uh, you know through the week whenever we're at a good time that isn't two minutes before the stream starts um then yes there will be a submissions thing done at some point but uh, i enjoyed the track building stream i definitely wouldn't count it out it's definitely possible to see something along those lines at some point in the future. I enjoyed the track building stream. I think the, the filming crew members that, that took part in it enjoyed the uh, enjoyed the building stream. So we could definitely uh, see some uh, some more of that in the future. Uh, I think we're going to be starting with 14. That's fine. We will get this underway. Uh, what do we want to start with? That is the question. Uh... Let's go with sports classics. How long a lap is it? Two miles. It's quite a twisty two mile track, so we're gonna go with oh don't catch up on. We're gonna go with five laps just to see. If it turns out to be a little bit of a short race, we'll make them uh, a little bit longer. Um as as we go, we shall see. Uh Crossbow Man, thank you very much for the donation. Uh <laughs> saying definitely not the Mammoth Patriot on the straight line map. Uh We've done straight line quite a lot recently. Uh, that is the only problem. We have done straight line quite a few times recently. Uh, do we have any... Do we have a, I mean, the, the, the mill spec Patriot is the one that does the really funky things. The normal Patriot, I don't actually think, does much on straight line, from what I remember. Because uh, I think it's quite sensible. We know, that, we know that the Patriot cannot be stopped. We know that it is an incredibly difficult to stop a vehicle from the good old uh, <laughs> the good old survive the hunts uh, but yeah they're actually because they're the base game cars 
they don't have a particularly wa unless I'm misremembering it, but as far as I'm aware, I don't think it has a particularly wacky hitbox. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I I don't know if we have any other tracks with that on it that we can use. Uh, oh, Gliska's done a dance off of a wall. That's less than ideal as we head through these first few corners. So this is a pwn circuit. Uh, we've driven this track. I don't know when we last drove it on street. When it was last driven, it was one of the many bridge circuits that we have. We have, <laughs> we have, we have many bridge circuits, either involving racing on them, racing round them, and oh, in this instance, uh, a bit of both actually. We race over bridges and under bridges, and there's even some custom-made ones. Um, apparently, did we race this one not so long ago? I, I. I I lose track of the GTA races, they all kind of blend a little bit into one. I do remember this corner because you can fall off here. Uh, <laughs> you can fall off over the edge and get yourself into a whole world of trouble. Uh, we will try and cut back underneath of the Danger Man. It's not quite... well, it actually until light has worked. Cat, I can just see a Cass. In, Cass is in a very troublesome mood. If you hear a crash in the background, Cass is exploring things. Uh, apparently, apparently it is the real uh, Distracto, Distracto Cat's day today. He's trying to play with Scalectric's cars, buddy. <laughs> They're all in. I mean, he does. He does like playing with Lego cars, given half a chance. But the Scalectric cars are all in their cases. Don't quite know what his grand plan is. However, he is up to. I say up to no good. I don't know whether that is. Uh, it's a lot of cars behind us. Well, this has recovered, considering a, poor, a very poor start. The upside down in the outside wall here. It's not a bad cast. You cannot climb on Lego boxes. So if there's a, uh, I mean, I'm normally used to bloody Apollo being the troublesome one, but nope. I might have to get a cat out of a. Oh, cast. You cannot climb that either. <laughs> So I can't show you because I don't have the camera plugged in. But <laughs> essentially, the where where I am sat and where the cat is, just I can in my peripheral vision, I can just see a cat exploring places a cat should not be exploring. And oh, Lado! <laughs> Never mind, indifferent sort of peripheral vision. Lado's having a very big accident behind us, and then that almost almost brought us into said accident. We've got a great run through that one. We will have a dive to the inside uh, not quite well, not quite make the pass stick no danger man will get the curb boost uh, through there and will carry the speed although it's going to be slow down the next straight we will come past salmon has come to join the fight as well here as nine tails lado is there stevie i think was there as well somebody did get turned around stevie's in a we've got confusing colors going on stevie's in a yellow car that doesn't seem right uh <laughs> Oh, lots of understeer through there. Lado is to the inside. We're racing across the circuit to try and get some slipstream off of Danger Man. <laughs> kind of box Lado in. To be fair, this is not the worst... Uh, not the worst car for this circuit, that's for sure. Turn 1 is quite... is flat out in this car. I'm not going to say too easy, but uh, it's fairly straightforward in this car. Other cars, that cause I guess it's a little bit of a slower car, this. Uh, it, it is a flat corner, whereas in other cars, a little bit of a different story. Uh, you've seen quite a few cars, when you start getting up to the sports and supercars, quite a few cars understeering off on the exit of that corner. I haven't really seen it, unless they've been pushed by... in battles, shall we say, unless they've been pushed by someone else. They've been avoiding the horrible sign on the outside. I have a feeling things are about to get knocked off because I can see a Cass with, he's, he's looking and investigating and pouring it. So I think he's going to do the typical twat cat thing of just lightly nudging things so they fall off of a cabinet. I don't know if he's gone back to staring at the top of a bigger cabinet that he cannot jump on top. Oh boy, hello. <laughs> Ewan, Ewan has, uh, has helped me into uh, making that pass. I had backed out of it. Admittedly, we went... Uh, I mean, we were quite deep under braking at that point anyway, and I think I guess Ewan thought we were going to make that pass stick. Oh, there's a transference of crashing going on, and Danger Man is backwards in a wall. Uh, has recovered, oh, has not quite recovered. Ewan's pinged off of something as well. 
That's far from ideal. Gliska is leading the way. We are three wide. There are yellow cars around. Not a brazen in sight uh, at the moment. I don't know if brazen is joining us later. Uh, we've got a big slipstream. Oh, Gliska went left. Did not uh, realise that was happening until almost too late. We got away with it. Uh, I was expecting Gliska to cover the inside. It's going to be four wide on the run up here. And, yeah, I'm not... <laughs> Not so sure what we can get away with. It's probably better to back out of that one and not cause any trouble. Was that water I saw on the inside? That corner. If there was, I don't quite know how, but never mind. Can't really worry. It's, it's not going to really do much to the car. I was just curious about the, uh, the particle effects going on. Salmon's going to go around the outside. Good pass. The car quite hold it, though. I don't know whether they got a slide or whether they bumped a wall or... Uh, quite what, but uh, yeah, someone did not make the most, or did not make that pass stick. We run downhill. Oh, Stevie! <laughs> Stevie got in trouble. Lado's on a very tight line through that corner. Ooh Stevie with a big accident. Possibly one of the more spectacular accidents of the day, to be fair. Glisco wants that inside line. We were going really late on the brakes uh, to try and pass Nightales, and Glisco then, ooh, he was even braver trying to get to the inside. I think Stevie has at least survived, but will have lost a whole bunch of time back there. We will sneak past. I will say thank you very much for the lead. Oh, there's been a bit of a gap. I don't know what happened to Ninetales. Did not see. We're quick through there. Lado's got the overlap. We will give some space. Uh, final corner is coming up here. I don't mind being out wide, particularly. Galiska's going to sneak past. Uh, Lado tries to... Oh, Make that one work. It's now just a drag race between all three of us here. One more lap to go. We are into the lead of the race. Gliska is not alongside. We will sweep ourselves back to the lead. It was good when there was three of us. Now, but it's quickly going to be a lot more than that on this final lap of the race. Danger Man is there. I'm going to guess Ninetales and Ewan are back uh, up into all of this group. Yeah. Uh, there's Childish is there. I can't tell everybody who's in this group, but it's going to be a busy, a busy final few laps. Oh god, a three wide. Ewan was looking to that inside. That, honestly, the long way around there's not the worst. You can keep up the momentum quite well because, like, let's go put the car exactly where you would expect to to be a good place to pass, but couldn't actually really do anything with it. We've got a good amount of speed down here. Glis is going to follow us. Oh god, Ewan is also having a crack to the inside will struggle to carry much speed on the exit. We will hold on to the lead for the moment. Danger Man is to the outside of the hairpin. I've slightly missed my braking point. Oh, Curb. Curb did some mean things to my car. However, Danger Man got a tag from somebody. Did not see who. So, as we run down the hill, Lado takes the lead. Ninetales is following, as is Childish. Me and Ewan are still in the fight. As we head into the final few corners, we fire ourselves back past Childish. Not quite what I was expecting to happen there, but we, <laughs> at the end of the day, we made it work. Uh, as we head into the final corner, we get pushed a little bit wide. We get squeezed into the wall. It's going to be a drag race between all of us. And Ewan's going to win it. <laughs> it's a four wide photo finish. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we, we were basically stuck on the outside, which meant as the cars came to the exit of that corner, you're always going to get a bit squeezed, and there's only so much that can be done. Uh, it was only a minor squeeze. It was only a minor squeeze. Uh, uh, we got third. La oh, Lado ended up fourth. I did not realise we beat Lado. <laughs> Ewan has taken victory. Uh, Ewan has won. Childish gets second. We will take third. I mean, it was unbelievably close. Um, it was unbelievably close in that one. Yeah, maybe. Well, the outside probably wasn't quite the place to be, although had we got a better run off the corner, we might have been able to slingshot our way to the front. Who knows? Who knows? It is the way that uh, the way that it goes sometimes. Salmon gets fastest lap of the race. It was a good race. It was a good race. It was uh, close. Some close battling went on in that one. We were there or thereabouts. That is... Uh, It's good enough. It's it's good enough. Right, we were going to go something a bit faster up next. <laughs> God knows. <laughs> uh, Drake, oh, thank you very much for the donation. 
as well. I uh, saying limerick time, uh, so enjoy. Uh, ramp trucks galore on this a fine day. Alex will win by means of any way. Uh, Lano comes screeching whilst praising his preaching, yet Longbow is fast and wins by fair play. Uh, <laughs> God, yeah, yeah. Fairly, fairly well summed up. I mean, I like to think we generally race cleanly. You know, I don't do too many shenanigans. There is definitely some shenanigans. Well, no, no. There is definitely some, but minimal amount of shenanigans. Uh, <laughs> depends on what race we're doing. To be fair, uh, PS, give us a good chaos track. Oh, we'll have chaos. We'll have a chaos track. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, what the chaos track is going to be today? We might go to something we haven't somewhere we haven't been for a little while. Um, so yeah, we shall see. We shall see. We shall see what I fancy pl slash what I come across as we scroll through. Um, uh, Kevlar, thank you very much for the donation. Saying hello, Alex. I hope you and the uh, and all filming crew are doing well. I was wondering what track does a filming crew like the most or talk about the most. We all know uh, the one they hate, but never hear the ones that they like. And could we race on it today at some point? Ooh. Actually, that's a good question. I don't know what the most universally liked track is. Um, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of tracks. There's a lot of tracks that we that we have. I mean, most of the tracks that we do in Sensible Racing are, are generally liked by, by everybody. Tracks like this one here, for example, are just tracks we know are going to work for... Uh, sensible, sensible racing, basically. Um, that is a good question. That is a very good question, actually. Um, hmm. I'm gonna have to have a think about that one. I'm not sure what what track is is the is the the most liked. Um, the per personal hill is the most hated. Um. <laughs> the lad oval is quite fun uh but that is a, that is a, again that is a silly chaos race um yeah i am not actually sure i am i'm not a hundred percent sure on on that on what that one would be maybe some of the filming crew will post up in the in in the chat if they if they come up with something but i mean look, there's a lot of very good circuits that we that we race around at the end of the day uh Poen and level eight and a bunch of people uh, have, have built many fantastic circuits that uh, that, that that we have that we have gone racing around. Um, so yeah, we will see what uh, what is said. Um, I, Gary, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying thanks as always, Alex and uh, Ferris team. A survive hunt idea. What if Alex must must remain on foot? Uh, with no cars the entire time while trying to explode, prees and get away. On one hand, it'd be easy to hide. On the other hand, no chance of outrunning hunters could be interesting. Hmm. Well, the, so the difficulty with the difficulty with that one would be to you wouldn't be able to cover ground, so it would have to be a much smaller area. So simply get from one side of the map to another on foot would take the entire time. You could certainly limit it to uh, the smaller, uh, smaller area, and that could potentially work. Uh, I think the difficulty that would would happen, or the, the potential difficulty, um, is I would act, the the hunters would actually be quite scared of finding me because I would be able to get guns out very quickly. I'd actually be quite dangerous in that one in as far as if you if, if the hunters just kind of came up to me to investigate I could pull out, you know, very powerful weaponry. They would have to investigate people in big groups almost because otherwise you run the risk of just being picked off one by one. It would be a very different kind of, it, I mean, it, also, it almost wouldn't be a survive the hunt but it would be a very different sort of scenario, uh, that one because yeah, oh I moved at the air. We did the typical... I saw cars approaching and I moved over expecting them to go to the inside and Gliska went to the outside as well and it was too late for them to slow down. <laughs> that's, that's slightly my bad. That's, that was just that classic miscommunication of the huge speed differential of slipstream is that I yeah, I moved to the right expecting Gliska to go to the left but they'd already committed to go to the right. Yeah, that was um, 
Uh, that was unfortunate. That was unfortunate. Nick, this guy couldn't have done anything. There's so much slipstream. They got on the brakes the second they saw where I was going that can't stop anyway because it's already going way too quickly. Uh, but, uh, yeah, and on a, a more on foot survivor hunt, it would be a very different kind of a game mode, but it's certainly not impossible. It's certainly not impossible to see something more along those lines. Uh, it would potentially end up being trying to work it slightly differently, I'm not quite sure. But, uh, yeah, it, it would end up being actually very difficult for the hunters to, to, to take me down because... You know the firepower that I that I have would make them very nervous about approaching because you know, <laughs> you're gonna get shot. Don't think many of them would. If they manage to gather enough people, that's when that's when it's dangerous. It's when they have enough people to make it difficult for me. Uh, you know, one v one would would win by a mile because the firepower. Hell, I can sometimes take three or four people out before someone can kill me in those like manic uh, shunts at the end of them. So yeah, it could definitely be a, a, a thing that is that is done, just be done in a slightly different a different way, perhaps. Uh, we will get to the inside here. Oh, that's a lot of understeer for me. Can we get back on the circuit? We can, thankfully. Everyone could see ooh, where we were going on that one, and could see where the car was going to end up on the circuit, because we've got to try and avoid the wall, and we've got to get back up on the raised bit of, bit of track. It's all fine, we've made it. Uh, we're going to bring Liam with us into the fight. So it is a big gaggle of cars fighting through here. Liam is going to still be to the inside, I think. Uh, all is fine. Can we get... Oh, I wanted to get to the inside of Lado. Couldn't do it at that point. There is a Stevie to the front of the pack. The nameplate's not really wanting to work properly, but... Uh, that's fine. Three wide into turn one. Oh... We got caught out on the bumps. Liam has been murdered into a sign. I think a lot of cars got... If you're out wide through there, you uh, do understeer a fair bit on the bumps in these cars. And I think Liam was unfortunate in that one, was stuck right on the outside. We were we were in trouble, and Liam was even further in trouble than we were. Um, so, yeah. That's... Uh, <laughs> that's... Less than ideal. Uh, sound, thank you very much for the super chat. Say so the pedestrians extremely rarely cross roads, so if he is spotted crossing a road, he's made. Uh, watch Alex how not to survive the hunt uh, video for an attempt on foot. Yeah, that is the other difficulty. The other difficulty is the crossing the road. Now, you could. You, you could. You could still do it. No, well, that's a very understeery car for Stevie. You could still do it knowing that you would be... That the crossing the road would be the most dangerous part of it. Yes, you would be made when crossing the road. Um, although if you are made when crossing the road, you'd just open fire with whatever gun you had. So, so you would be quite fearsome at that point. It's difficult. It is difficult. However, there's definitely a... Ooh, a slightly different sort of game mode could be done with that. I mean, it would... It could, even potentially have it end up looking more like the old heists, the old sort of custom-made heists that we did. Uh, those are something that we might see. Uh, th those are something we might see make a return. We'll, we'll say it now. It's something that we've been contemplating doing for a while. Um, so yeah, may may see those make a make a return, and it could, it would work for something along those lines for sure. Uh, with a you know a more stealth aspect, uh, one of those heists or whatever. Uh, we are continuing to hold on to the lead. Um, we have got me with a Jester, a whole bunch of Massacros. Yeah, normally I drive the Massacro, but we have something different this time around. Uh, we can try and sneak our way to the inside there, but that, the tight line through there just doesn't work. You just get no speed on the exit. Lado is back to the front of the pack. You and all have a good slipstream run down here. Oh, I had a very good slipstream run at a very awkward place, but it has worked. We will take the lead. A little bit of understeer, not enough to go off the circuit. Ewan and Liam were out much wider than we were, up towards the hairpin. Park the car on oh, the apex, and now we've got two cars looking for a way past. It's fine, though. We make it all out of that section clean. It is... Oh, there they go, either side. Ah, it's not too much of a problem for us. We will just immediately get back into some slipstream if we can. Liam is going to make that pass stick. 
trying to make it awkward, but couldn't quite. I don't know. We don't get a big run to the finish line off of here. Oh, I'll tell you what, that would be very close on the final lap of the race. I don't think I don't think you're going to get a big enough run from anywhere other than second, and that is from from second. It's doable, but it's not an easy run to get right. From third, I think you're just always going to be too far back. Although there's always a chance. <laughs> it's one of those things we can plan this as best as possible, and whatever we see happening in the previous laps is going to always guaranteed to be different. Uh, at the very end, we are side by side. We're swapping places as we run up the hill and down the other side. Again, still a decent sized group of cars. Did not get. Oh, Childish has found a tree. <laughs> well, Childish was looking for a place to put that car, and unfortunately for them, there was not enough of a gap to uh, make a pass to the outside work on me, and there was a tree in the way. Uh, we are looking to the inside of Ewan. There was a little bit of contact. We found a way past Lado. We will barrel down the hill. Uh, oh, not going to be close enough for Slipstream. Neither has got Slipstream from Danger Man, which actually means we end up losing out to Lado. And Sam and Lado's over the curb. Ends up pushing Danger Man. Oh, they all get connected. Well, that has helped me and Ewan out massively in all of this. We're going to cut back underneath. I mean, it's a drag race towards the line, but they see that won't work. If we're that close to the leader, you don't want to be second because you're just not able to get a slipstream. I was hoping the catch up was going to slow down the Massacro enough that we could have outdriven it to the line, but it did not. I mean, that is something important. All that we've learned is that uh, catch up alone is not going to be able to slow out. It's a very sneaky move for second. I'll take it, though. Uh, <laughs> It was, yeah, it was three wide, and as they were busy battling, well, it was two wide, they, they were busy fighting, no one was expecting a uh, Jester to sneak past on the inside, but we made it work. We're still all battling, Danger Man is to the inside, sorry Glisco, they had bloody contact, the littlest of bumps from Danger Man just unsettled my car, and yeah, Glisco in the end came off worse from all of that. Ninetales has left a glorious gap through the middle, Glisco gives us a push. And that puts us to the lead. Gliska to second. Way too much understeer for me through there. Gliska will be back alongside. Ninetales is getting involved, continually getting involved with this fight, as is to be expected, really. And as a the secondary group of cars is, is rejoining the fray. Oh, no! No, no! We got bushed ever so slightly. Ah. And that's that. <laughs> yeah, sticky bush. It, it, pulled, it did not pull the car by much. Liam's waiting. I'm not quite sure what Liam is waiting for because Liam had very little to do with with my accident through there. Uh, we were just on the limit at an awkward place and yeah that was the end of us. Damn it. Oh it's been a massive shunt for Salmon on the run to the line. <laughs> it's 11th place. <laughs> oh. Damn it. Damn it. It was a fun race. Um, it was a good fun race. Disappointing end. Tried to be tried to be sneaky. And I say try to be sneaky. No, we were just we were just fighting for the lead. And yeah. Ah well. These things happen. Nine tails would take a victory in this one. Uh, not a massive surprise, but yeah, nine tails like victory. Danger Man got second with Jester. Childish is third ahead of Ewan, Lado, Lombo, Pone, Jamie, Gliska, and Stevie would round out the top ten with Stevie getting the fastest lap of the race. Ah. Well, it's a uh, a decent enough start. They were good races, even if not always going to plan. Uh, a lamp. Thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, quick vote in chat. Uh, what bread is best? White, whole grain, whole wheat, rye or sourdough? Can I vote for tiger? I vote for tiger bread. Tiger bread is the best bread. Uh, <laughs> well, admittedly, it wasn't one of the options. However, I do vote for tiger. Tiger bread is so good. 
I don't know. I don't know if this was just an English thing. I presume it wasn't. I don't know whether they did it in where else in the world they might have done it. But the tiger bread that you could get at Subway for a while was fantastic. So I don't think they do it anymore, which sucks. But uh, yeah, tiger bread. Tiger bread is all, all, all the way. All the way for me. Uh, so, so, there we go. Um, I, uh, banana bread, I get. I'm, I'm not a big fan of banana bread, personally. That is... Um, oh, garlic bread. Now, that's a good shout. Garlic bread is also a good shout. Admittedly, you can't make sandwiches with garlic bread. But... Um, yeah, that is... Uh, Garlic bread is is also is always good. Are, are, are crumpets bread? I mean, I'm not sure. Um, no, no, probably not. Probably not. Um, I I wouldn't I wouldn't have said. Uh, oh, so someone from the states. What is tiger bread? Is it's, it's it's like I think like cheese is cooked. It, it's like cheese is cooked into the bread. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it's what you would have it called as over there. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like cheese is like cooked into the bread. You kind of get like a sort of crispy outer part to the bread. I can't think of a better way of describing it, uh, <laughs> but it's very nice. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it is very nice indeed. Uh, so there we go. If, if I, I assume you will get it in America one way or another, I just don't know what it would be like called over there. Um, if you don't get it, you are missing out. Um, you are missing out indeed. Uh, well, that never worked. <laughs> right, we are going to be driving around. We'll go, we'll, we'll, we'll go to a, a more silly circuit. We'll go to a, a more silly circuit for this next one. Uh, I don't even know. Some of these, I need to have an... Oh, you know where we haven't been for a very long time? I mean, that one then, that one then never quite... Yeah, we've not been. We've not been to Crash Alley for a very long time. So, let's go here. Um... <laughs> yeah, bread wars has been started. Uh, <laughs> we are, we are. You know, normally we talk about silly. We normally get distracted by food in one way or another, and today it is bread wars. Um, today it is, it is bread, bread wars. So <laughs> it's something different every time. Uh, it's, it's something different every time when we, when we stream. Ah, oh, let's get everybody. Everybody connected from the uh, from the last job. Uh, Gary, thank you very much for the donation. Saying good points for Survival Hunter Foot. Uh, maybe gun rules would need to change, but uh, key advantage hunters is that they have a much better idea of where you were. Uh, you can only run so fast on foot, so the search area uh, by the time they got there would be very small. Yeah, I definitely like I like the idea of a of a more. I mean, admittedly, it does go slightly against you know my channel. However, it could definitely work as a, a heisty style thing where it'd have to be on foot and you could end up using alleyways and stuff to try and hide and sneak around and, and be stealthy. Um, yeah, it would, have to, it, it would potentially have to be tweaked a little bit because it, there's a very good chance um, that I would get way too overpowered with the, with the weapon restrictions. It could definitely work. Could definitely work with some tweaking, with some tweaking and some, some, some slight rule adjustments and, and all of that. Uh, could, could definitely get an injury, and you you may well see something along those lines, in the in the future. Um, if you do want to take part in this evening's stream, uh, you are more than welcome to. Ewan is the person to message alongside where we have, uh, kind of highlighted on the screen. Send you in a message. Uh, you will need to be on Xbox. You will need the enhanced version of GTA if you would like to take part. We will try and get as many folks in as we can. We are streaming a little bit earlier, yes, uh, so that uh, everyone has a chance to watch the Formula 1 afterwards. I'm hoping that it is going to rain, and I am hoping that it'll be a mixed-up, jumbled old race. That is the dream. <laughs> Actually, no, really, I'm hoping for Alonso to win. 
or anybody not a Red Bull to win. Uh, <laughs> pretty much. Actually, no, no, I, I change it. Anybody other than Verstappen at this point. It's not that I dislike Verstappen, he's just Red Bulls are very fast, so I want to see something else. But especially if Alonso could get a win with an Aston Martin, that would be cool. Um, so yeah, rain and chaos is the, is hopefully what happens. Uh, <laughs> it was just cheesy garlic bread, also a very good shout. Um, we are going down. Sure, we'll just go down the rabbit hole um, of, uh, <laughs> of food. Uh, Lucas, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, say my wife just tripped over and dropped a full basket of freshly ironed clothing. I just sat back and watched it all unfold. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. That will be a boo to you from chat and indeed from me. Um, right, shall we go? Let's start with... Yeah, let's start with sedans. Sure, this is a bit of an old map. Uh, the rules for the cars, I think it's unlocked, you can run what you want, but you cannot run an armoured car. Um, do not, do not run an armoured car. I don't know if, it, this is such an old map, I don't know if any of them are even actually added to it, other than maybe the Dukes of Death, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. If there is an option to run an armoured car, don't run the armoured car. The rest are fair game, go for what you want, pretty much. Uh, so yeah. Let's see what happens, really, with all of this. Um, if you haven't seen Crash Alley before, you're in for a treat. A wonderful circuit from the old Flat Out games. May, and this is a, a pretty good version of it, actually, in GT4. And this, I should point out, this was made a long time ago. This was made long before we had access to lots of fancy stunt props and everything. I mean, there is still... Are they, they have got some of the newer cars added. So they, must, they must have updated it, which is quite cool. Um... I mean, you've given me an option for an estate car. I'm going to use it. Oh, yeah, it has actually been updated with that, which is cool. Um, uh, Joshua, thank you very much for the donations. And can we have a race with a June at some point today? Oh, we can. I'm. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure we can. I've got to remember what tracks have the June on, but <laughs> the June will make an appearance at some point. Uh, we can, we, somebody, we might run off-road next and somebody will probably have a go with it. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, there we go. So, I mean, yeah, we're never going to pass up the opportunity for a quick estate car. Uh, there is all sorts of vehicles around. I think the shaft of E12 is probably the one to go for, on the most part. The Cinque Milo is quite good. I think that's counted as a sedan in this car. I don't think the Reinhardt's not too bad. Uh, Gliska has gone for a Primo, which is... I mean, it's a brave choice. It is a, it is a brave choice. Oh, hey, Stevie. <laughs> the surge, I think, is it? Oh, dearie me. We've had and spin. But we've had a spin followed by a very quick recovery, which is what we need. Uh, the first lap, relatively safe. The, the, well, the first run through the middle, relatively safe. After that, oh, Mute. Mute has undertaken us. Mute has undertaken us and flipped and, well, really screwed themselves over as well. <laughs> right. Ah! Hello, everyone. We have uh, had an accident. God damn it. Uh, it was going so well for us, and now it is not. Oh, well, Drake's had an accident with the Fugitive. Oh, this car does not deal well with the bumps. Lado has turned up. Oh. We are in the middle of the road, facing the wrong way, and Childish has turned up backwards and upside down. Oh, Jamie's just turned up backwards. Uh, <laughs> that's... Yeah, things are going very Crash alley -y. Crash alley -y? Sure, whatever. Uh, can we go over here without flipping? Nope. We've got way too... We got pushed down there by Childish, which is not what I needed. Ah. I was desperately trying... Oh, Lado, go... I was really trying not to uh, not to go so fast down. Well, well, we went down there fairly quickly. Excuse me, Nature Man. Uh, <laughs> fine. <laughs> you want to do that? You want to do that with your Washington? Then sure, we can we can do that one. Uh, oh, and over the bumps here. Yeah, this car is really unsettled over the bumps. Really unsettled. I mean, they are quite. Oh, hello, Valtrek. It is to be expected. Um, that 
cars are going to get unsettled. It's the point of the bumps here. Just this, I feel, is actually getting unsettled more than just about any other car. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa! <laughs> there, it's fine. All is good. Uh, thanks, Stevie. You've actually pushed us the right way. Uh, <laughs> it's gone a little bit awry. But it could have gone a lot more. I feel like that was... Uh-oh. Uh oh, no. Oh, no. You see, that's 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 the, the, the more awry bit. Oh, well, we murdered a Ewan a little bit. Uh, and around we go. Uh, yeah, I think I'm actually going to have to be slower down this middle section. This was not a good... As much as I like the Reinhardt, as much as faster state cars are brilliant, this is not very good for Crash Alley in a multitude of ways, but yeah, the bumps are really problematic. Um... It's just, I can't I can't be quick down the middle section because this car is, just gets thrown around so badly that it is almost undrivable. Oh, hello. Oh, no. We're getting tangled up with everyone. We don't want to be... T I, I don't want to be here. I want to be down that way. <laughs> I think we're last. Oh, no, Valtrek is last. Uh, right. This is This is not been... This has not been a good crash alley race. Unless it suddenly becomes a miracle later on. Uh, Gliska is leading the way with a primo. Which says a lot about this circuit, really. Uh, uh, L Plan, thank you very much for the donation, by the way. Saying one pound says Alonso wins in Miami. I mean, it would be awesome to see. I hope, I hope Alonso can get a win this year. Just because it would be really cool to see. I, I don't expect anyone to really beat the Red Bull. We just need the Red Bull to take each other out. And uh, then there's always a chance. There's always a chance for Alonso. You never know. Uh, so, yeah. We will we will see. We will be hopeful. You can always be hopeful. No, Reinhardt, behave yourself. Hello, Stevie. <laughs> we've, we've mostly just bumped you forward in this one. We're back up to 13th. And this is battles for position. This is for 11th at the moment. Oh, crap. Okay. Well, it's not great, but we are through. That could have actually been a lot worse. That could have been an awful lot worse getting through there. So, all things considered, I'll take it. And I think the mess of cars... Oh, Gliska's fallen over in front of Stevie. We'll sneak our way up to 11th now. No, bouncy, bouncy, Reinhardt. Just stop bouncing. Please stop bouncing. Thank you. Bloody hell. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is not the car choice. This was not the car choice. No. Okay, back end. Sort yourself out, please. Thank you. Now, Jamie, we're racing for position. And then after Jamie, it's Lado. So we've had a couple of half-decent laps here. It'll be a little calmer for us. I can see Lado not too far down the road. Oh, Jamie is gone. No, no, we're gone. We've flipped over a Lado. I've lost my camera angle and everything. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, Stevie's nicked my 10th place. Stevie, come back. Uh, <laughs> Jamie got sent off. I think Jamie got sent into the grandstands and we got fired uh, around the... Oh, Stevie's having a spin. Oh, no. I mean, we were frantically trying to stop having an accident, but however, there was just nothing I could do as everything else was having crashes around, uh, which is far, far from ideal. Uh, a sound also, thank you for the nation. Sorry, I shall read it at the end of the race. Uh, childish, child, so Childish is leading with one of these. I don't quite know how. Fair play uh, for managing to lead with one of these because I just cannot get the hang of this car over the bumps it just spins wildly whenever you try and take any any speed over them uh, oh no it's, well, it's, it's the problem with it is the back end the back end bounces up into the air seemingly excessively compared to some other cars uh, so it gets thrown about an awful lot i spy a lado up here whoa i was on the brakes trying to so god yeah so you get flung along in the slipstream quite significantly here. I was barely on the throttle down there and then on the brakes trying to stop before I hit something and uh, 
We didn't really work. We ended up hitting something. Mute had trouble. Lado and Stevie have had trouble, and I've been inadvertently troubled as well. Uh, <laughs> we were collateral trouble in that one. <laughs> the two surges spun, and <laughs> we were nowhere to go other than to spin. So, yeah. Uh, it's never good when you are collateral trouble. Uh-oh. Okay, well, that, that one was all me. No, 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 go, 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 It's fine. We are continuing the battle. I mean, we've actually caught... I mean, Childish Liam and Longbow and Drake are well gone. Pwn's in a little bit of field on their own. We've actually caught to, like, Gliska and people way better than I expected us to. Uh, oh, no. No, 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 no. Reinhardt. Please go in a straight line. Yeah, you and his eight seconds up. We only have... Well, I think one lap was twice around this circuit, from what I remember. So we don't have long. Oh, Gliska has been sent to orbit. We've hit Drake and stopped. Ninetales has hit Drake and stopped even harder. Uh, I spot a Ewan. Oh, we've been followed by a Stevie. Right. I think it's two more times around here. Sixth might even be on the cards. Uh, somehow. I don't quite know how. That there is a possibility of a sixth place. Uh, I don't know what Pone's driving. I don't know where Pone is on the track either. Whether the fifth place is in, in is there for the for the offering. I don't know. Uh Stevie is not directly behind us at the moment. Uh, I almost don't want to go into this sort of three wide. Ewan has been killed by a Gliska. Longbow was trying to... I was trying to avoid the cars rushing towards us. Someone's stuck on a wall. Uh, hello, Drake. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. Uh, we're up to fifth. Oh, no, Drake. We're racing Drake for position. Okay. Did not even know that. Was not paying attention. I've lost track of who was where and what was doing what, and Danger Man's had an accident. Ewan's had a big accident off the back of us in all of this. With, I mean, fifth, honestly, it would be a remarkable finish given how this race started. It's certainly no guarantee, though, because we've still got to get down here one more time. Come on, car. Be good. We are. It's fifth. Fifth place. Uh, for us. Fastest lap will go to Childish with the Reinhardt. Poe was in a Reinhardt as well. One at four. Good lap time. Uh, Liam got a super diamond into third. Nicely done. Uh, <laughs> oh. Christ. So Childish takes victory. Longbow is second ahead of Liam Pone. That would get fourth. We've recovered to fifth somehow, and I'm not 100% sure how. Mute is sixth. They had a nine tails. Ewan is eighth. Then Drake, ninth. And Stevie would round out the top ten. We raced with Stevie for quite a lot of time in that one. And, yeah, we just all of a sudden had a good couple of laps towards the end. I figured out a way to make it work, but it wasn't very nice to drive. Um... Yeah, well, not the car truck. For, for me, anyway, obviously, Childish made it work better than I did. Not my my personal favourite car for this. And did anybody make money betting? I'm going to go with a no. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, sound, thank you very much for the donation. Same been a long time since we've done Brazen Theft. Uh, that is always a good one to run, especially with Monster Trucks or Dunes. We can definitely have a visit to Brazen Theft. I can't remember... What vehicles are on it, but we can go to the Brazen Theft at some point. Um, Danger Man, I did not wreck you. You, try, you tried to crash into me, so I removed the problem, uh, which was you. Uh, <laughs> I was perfectly happy not to be bumping into you, not to be crashing into you, and then you turned across me and trying to push me into a wall, so I pushed back. It just so happened that I could push better, because I had the much more powerful car. <laughs> <laughs> that, I believe, is how it works. Right? Yeah? I think so. Um... Uh... Right. Oh, God. Remember, remember we need to do that. Uh, not 99 laps around Crash Alley. Jesus Christ. Uh... Six laps in coupes. Let's go for that. Custom vehicles are off. Uh, yeah, let's go for let's go for some coupes. Uh, Lucas, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, will we ever see a King of the Hill again? Well, yes, potentially. There's some stuff in the works. There's some stuff in the works that 
could maybe work possibly if GTA decides to behave itself and not be a completely broken horrible mess there's there's a chance there's there's a chance that uh, that we will see some some king of the hill return um yeah <laughs> level 8 has worked very hard on building a bunch of maps and some that would be uh, essentially quite suitable for a king of the hill uh, but we have issues with you kind of set it all and then when you load it in gta just forgets what any of the settings are and it doesn't work and it's broken and level 8 loses a little bit of sanity every time we try uh so <laughs> we might see some king of the hill you know at some point if we can get it working and behaving itself that's the big that's the big problem is that we can come up with these really really cool things cool ideas that should work and then gta just wrecks it um so yeah like the, the sumo you know the, the the castle sumo map is awesome it's really really good and when it works it works fantastically well for some reason gta despite the settings not having changed just breaks it uh, from time to time. So, yeah, that's always fun. Um, anyway, again, if you are just if you are just joining, just tuning in, welcome all. Uh, for this next round of Crash Crash Alley, please remember, uh, you can use what you want from the Coupe class, but you are not allowed to use anything armoured. I don't know if there are any armoured cars in this category, but, yeah, don't use an armoured car. Don't be a cheat. Uh, right, custom vehicles and all that is off. Fantastic. Let's go and fire up and uh, see what might happen. See what might happen. I don't even know what... I don't know what new coupes have been added to this. We shall see. Windsor, Windsor Drop Sentinel. Oh, okay, Previum, Postlude, Oracle. None of these are looking very good. So none of the new ones really seem like a great shout. Uh, I think Windsor might be the way to go. It's big and heavy. should push some of the smaller stuff out of the way. Um... We will see. We will see how this is all going to pan out. This should be better over the bumps than the Reinhardt. I don't know. I, I don't know what one of these coupes is going to be good over the bumps. Um, the uh, the Revolta is not in this category because the Revolta is a sports car. Uh, <laughs> Revolta is a very good car for this, basically. Uh, but yeah, Revolta not in this in this category, so does not matter. Um, well, I mean, it's part of the reason why I picked Coupes is they're all oh dear. Valtrex about to have a bad time. Gliska, whoop. I was hoping, oh crap, that was going to push Gliska forward. It did not. Danger Man has carried a lot of speed and smashed into a tyre bundle. <laughs> We have a bit of a lead at the moment, but it's probably not going to last. Oh, hello. And that's the reason why. <laughs> you go around a corner, and suddenly there's a car having a crash. Valtrek's having trouble over there. Valtrek's not had a great start to this race. Uh, so we've got me, Gliska, and uh, Jamie, uh, the current leaders. Uh, Gliska's exemplar is catching. Oh, crap. Uh. Hey, you went. <laughs> oh, well, that's not... What I need. Okay, apparently the nose of my car can get stuck in the floor, and that like digs in and flips. Uh, there is a there was well there was a bit of a gap to the inside. We then made a Windsor-sized gap to the inside, but it didn't actually really work for passing. Uh, I've got to be really careful about. Oh no, car away, away from there. Be really careful about my nose digging into the floor because it's enough problems as it is uh, trying to get around here, let alone with the nose trying to impale itself and getting slowed down a lot. I've got a really itchy nose as well. Oh, Gliska found the same thing that I did. Okay, it's not just me. There's obviously a little bit of uh, terrain that is dangerous there, because Gliska got... Well, so tell you what, Gliska recovered very well. That must have landed nicely on its wheels and been able to carry on straight away. But oh, sorry! Oh! <laughs> 
we managed to, uh, yeah, don't, don't park on the bonnet of your opponent is probably a good shout, really. Uh, oh, then Glisten got danger banned anyway. Hey, and I will take the lead back from you. Thank you very much. <laughs> We've already had more overtakes for the lead than we will see in Miami this evening. Well, probably than we will see in Miami. Let's be hopeful. It's unlikely, but, you know, we can, we can try and be hopeful. Uh, oh, crap. Pod is down here. Hello. Don't mind me. Winds are coming through. Oh, it's a big crash. That was always going to happen. There was no good way through that for us. There was really no good way through that. Uh, who is... Drake is the next closest car in third. There was... Yeah. <laughs> that was just a... Well, I'm going to throw the big heavy cars at the stationary cars and hope we get through. Gliska found the gap and then Gliska fell over and is continuing to fall over and is still falling over and is still spinning around on the roof. Yeah, that's less than ideal. Drake has caught up a little bit. Lado's in fourth. Uh, Liam is in fifth, but they are quite a long way back. Uh, we have managed to... Well, we've had some cleaner runs down here. Oh, no. Well, never mind. I don't even know quite why I can't. I mean, I know we hit the back of a heavy car, but we did get stopped. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, Lado is here. Lado, this is for position. Lado is around the outside. I should warn you, the Windsor is quite understeery. Be wary going around the outside of the Windsor, because it does understeer, like, well, Windsor Castle, I think, is probably the best way of uh, of summing up the handling characteristics of this car. Uh, oh. Lado is, is going well. Good run through that section. No trouble for the yellow machine in all of this. Uh, Gliska has slipped back. Drake's caught up as well. There's now four of us for the lead, all relatively close together. Uh, come on. Come on, you big barge. Okay, we are down the middle section this time around. Fairly nicely. Uh, yeah, Salmon can hang about with that. Oh, this has had a little bit more strife through all of this. I think the Oracle is slightly better over these jumps than we are. That car did not know I was there. And... Land on wheels. Land on wheels. Go, 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 go. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Right. Thanks, Drake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Drake's got stuck. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> that's not quite gone well. We, oh, we were doing so... I mean, they're, they're, it's, it's Crash Alley, right? There's a whole load of luck involved, or not luck, like that. Oh, me and Chevy, I think, just did the same thing. Different points. I think what it is, is if the nose somehow gets... gets um, is, is very flat over these jumps, it just digs in at the very sort of apex of the tube. I don't quite know what causes that. And we didn't really see it with the sedans for some reason. But uh, with these, it's not even been a specific car that's had issues. We've seen both me and Gliska have done it. We saw, I think Chevy did it with a Fugitive as well. Not fu uh, was it a Fugitive? I'm not sure, actually. Oh, dear. I think Gliska might have had a similar thing, a similar problem happen there as well. I think that was a front end dig in. Admittedly, we were pretty much on the bumper down that section, but uh, yeah, that it just it digs and catches and goes. And uh, where is Lado going to go? Not sure. Not really sure. Liam has now caught us for the lead. Uh, well, we are underneath Liam. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how the overtake works. <laughs> There's a four-car battle for the lead with me, Lado, Drake, and Liam. And Gliska will catch back up again if we continue to do that. Uh, oh, crap. Oh, crap. We're in trouble. Yep, we're in trouble. Lado was spinning and bouncing around. And we would come off slightly worse from that. Drake is alongside. Won't quite pass us there. How much... Oh, God, buddy. Yeah, we've still got more times around here. Uh, <laughs> it's more mayhem. Can we survive more chaos? Oh, Sentinel's in a bad place. But we are through the Sentinel, at least. Liam is to the outside. And, yeah, that's the difficult part, trying to uh, deal with the landing. It just bounced. I don't know whether it bounced off. I think it bounced off my door while in the air. And, yeah, you're going into the scenery there. Whoa, orange car. Uh, I was actually checking up because I could see that one happening. Nope, we caught that bump wrong. Mute is going to actually help us in all of that. Pushes us clear. Drake is to the lead of the race. Uh, we've pulled a gap, actually. Liam, Dangerman, Lado are all fighting one another, and they're further back. Yeah, but, you know, so much is going to happen still. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I'm on the brakes. Oh. Oh. No. 
not making that call. The slipstream. You just get dragged. I, I had absolutely no uh, throttle for a lot of that. And I just got pulled along into the back of Stevie's car. Stevie came out of it better than I did in the end. One more time around this circuit. Big flip for Childish. Uh, they are off into the interior of the, uh, of the circuit. Will Drake be able to make it cleanly down this section? Oh, it looks like they will. Drake will win. We will push Stevie. Stevie has fallen over. And we will cross the line and take second. <laughs> oh. It was a fun battle. We did get involved in some tangles with Gliska. Um, I, it's, I'll tell you what, the amount of slipstream that you get with these, you just got pulled along at such speed, it's really easy to end up getting stuck underneath the car. Uh, or stuck involved in crashes that, uh, that, you did, that you didn't want. So apologies for uh, for a couple of those bumps. It is Crash Canyon at the end, or Crash Alley at the end of the day. It does happen, but uh, yeah. Uh, Liam Unlucky ends up down in fifth place with fastest lap of the race. We got a fairly good lap at a 109 in all of this. But yeah, Drake will take victory in this one. We are second. Gliska gets on the podium in third. Probably deserved as well for the battles that we had going on in there. Danger Man is fourth. Liam is fifth. Lado a little bit unlucky. Uh, dropped down to seventh, I think, at the end. 9,006th. Because, um, yeah, Lado was in the fight for uh, for quite a while as well there. Um, ah, it was a fun race. It was, it, it was a very silly, very silly race. But, yeah. Good old Crash Alley. Crash Alley, always an entertaining one to go to. Uh, Longbow, learning that uh, the jackal was not good um yeah <laughs> uh the, whatever was catching the bumpers of the cars was a problem which maybe the jackal didn't have but yeah when you're down that much speed perhaps some of these others always gonna be a smidge of a problem um uh gary thank you very much for the donation uh, saying one last thank you uh, for today's stream. Also a suggestion for Lalo. Uh, we need Faris merch with some Alexisms. Uh, hello and welcome to the show. Um, I, I mean that I say that. Uh, that's going to be a boo to you from me and from chat, etc. There is definitely some... Some of that sort of stuff on the way. Uh, not 100%... I say not 100% sure. Um, haven't got it. Haven't got it ready to go as of yet. But there is going to be some of that stuff. The, the the line that we're trying to work, which I think the, the you know the the fail race merch that we have at the moment is fantastic. There is a link to it in the description of the stream as well. If you want to go and have a look at it, uh, of course. But uh, the real um, the line that we're trying to work is where it feels fail racey without being completely. YouTubery. We want something that makes sense without the context of it being from a YouTube channel, if that if that makes sense to you. I hope it does, because that, that was what we were going for. That was the goal with the merch. The stuff that we have at the moment is very much along those lines. So, yeah, if we can work some, some, some Alexisms into that, that is quite possible. Um, yeah, there are a few ideas. There are a few ideas on the on the in the future. I'm not going to say on the way yet. But there are a few ideas for the for the future. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Chris quote merch would be very funny. Um, that is that is for sure if we can find a way to make it work. But uh, yeah, uh, Ewan has the document somewhere with the astonishing amount of. Chris quotes. There's been a lot. I'm sure there's been some more added. To be fair, we've all said some silly things uh, during filming, and in my case, during streams and all that. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, there there will be more. There will be more with that sort of star stuff coming in the future. I'm not going to say any particular time because we don't have a particular time. But yeah, do not worry. There will be some of that. I, I always like the idea of the what the physics um, uh, t-shirt. Quite how, quite what you'd put on the um, 
like what picture? I guess you'd have a car at all sorts of weird broken angles and that. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it, we're definitely likely to see um, to see something like that in the future. Uh, I like Chris. I think Chris quotes merch would make for great out of context merch as both Fowry's reference and bad philosophy. Yes, the Chris <laughs> Chris quotes are just bad philosophical thoughts. You're not that wrong, to be fair. You are really not that wrong at all. So, <laughs> there we go. Um, oh, you know what? Next, so we're going to go to a sensible track. Danger Man has been requested this track for weeks, and I've... Danger Man would request this track before we start. I'd get distracted, and then by about 20 minutes in, I've completely forgotten what was happening at the start. But this time I've remembered we're going to go to the Macy's Day Parade circuit. Because, uh, yeah, this is a good track. We're going to do a sensible track. We'll do... Don't worry, we'll do other other requested tracks on the city tracks but we're gonna have a a, a more sensible track um coming up next and yeah this should this should work hopefully um ah drake thank you very much for the donations and what sort of car is is a poor comedian for the ferris crew a Pu a boo getty veyron you're definitely getting a boo for that Terrible, terrible pun. Uh, by everyone for the last job. Uh, I now speed off into the distance before the boos arrive. Ah, oh, well, I mean, uh, you, you you ran off into the distance and won the previous race. Uh, PSX, did you, did you fly over you during that race? I, at some point, yes, a lot of cars were flying over me at various points during that race. Sometimes I was doing the one flying over cars or, or scooping cars up. It was it was a manic race, but that's Crash Alley for you. It's It's fun. Uh, it is, you know, suitably mad, uh, which is kind of what you want. Um, uh, Shady Brady, thank you for the donation. Saying, I want a street furniture T-shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't quite know how you'd do it, but you could definitely do something with that. Um, yeah, it's, it's always a difficulty with with doing merch. Is trying to do something that is going to sell well, um, and. Uh, something that works as, as general general merch. There's some funny ideas. It's whether it would sell well, whether it would work as much, we don't know. Uh, but yeah, keep an eye out. I'm sure there will be some more at some point in the not-too-distant future. Uh, uh, Michaela, thank you very much for the uh, super chat, saying, do a race with three armoured cars whose only purpose is to cause chaos. Uh, class is optional. Um, oh, God, we've said, we've said Chris too many times and Chris has turned up. It's like Beetlejuice. Crap! Abort! Abort! Run away! <laughs> we weren't doing anything, I promise! <laughs> uh, bloody hell. Uh, anyway, I digress completely. Uh, we could do... to do. A, well, I don't know if we have any races where we can have Armour Cup, but we could maybe do a cat and mouse... Oh, can we do a cat and mouse race? Can we have it make sense in a stream? I don't know if we can. Uh... <laughs> Is there a way we can make that? I don't know if we can make that work in a stream, because they take a lot of organising. Uh, um, maybe? Possibly? I don't know. Uh, now, 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 chat is just shouting shin at the moment. Sure, we can go for that one. Um, uh, yeah, I don't, uh, can we make, can we make cat and mouse? work in a stream. I don't know if we can, because they're never really in teams properly. Because uh, <laughs> it's not an actual team event. Can you do a team? Yeah, can, can do a team team race. Uh, never mind. I, I will have, I'll have to have a think. I don't know if I've got anything that can work for that, but I will. we will have a ponder and see what happens. Um, <laughs> well, we have a new a new Chris quote of I'd buy myself. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yes, we have. Um, we have tur turn Chris into a marketable plushie. Is the. <laughs> uh, I mean, well, Chris would buy one, so we'd sell one at least. That's something. Uh, I will say, I just said somebody, somebody said about um, uh, an Apollo plushie. I'll tell you what, trying to find a Belgian Malinois as a plushie or as, as almost as anything is incredibly difficult. Um, and I, I can tell you this, I know exactly how difficult it is because um, 
I say a while ago before we got before we got the manor was Carly's always wanted one, wanted one for a long time, and I think it was for Christmas uh, when I was getting her Christmas presents. I wanted to get her a, a oh god a, a Malinois plushie, and I there they were so difficult to find. Uh, the only one I found had to come from the states. Uh, I think it was from the states. I got it from eBay. There was literally like two, one or two uh, Malinois plushies, and that's it. They're so rare. They are. They are so rare to get hold of. I don't. I don't, I don't quite know why. I mean, they are a rarer breed of dog, but um, you know, they're quite recognisable as police dogs, army dogs. I'm kind of surprised there isn't more. They are, yeah, they are much rarer as a pet, essentially. Uh, they are more working dogs than pet dogs, although I don't think Apollo... Apollo would be the worst... Apollo would be the worst police dog because he'd just want to be friends with everybody. That's, that's all he'd want to do, is just want to say hello and be friends with everyone. <laughs> so he'd be a useless police dog. I think he would just flunk out of Police Academy immediately. But he's a lovely dog. Um... Uh, but yeah, not, not not a great police dog. But yeah, they, they they really are very very difficult to get hold of anything Malinois related. Um, oh, that's uh, that's a bit dicey. That's a bit dicey. I'd completely forgotten what this track was. I thought this I thought this track was something completely different. But uh, never mind. All is good. Oh, that's a tighter corner than I realised. Oh, Gliska got murdered by a longbow. Uh, <laughs> yep. This girl was very murdered by a long bite. <laughs> it was the littlest of bumps as well. Uh, it was the smallest of bumps that was just enough to upset uh, Gliska's car. Uh, got sent off into a lamppost completely the wrong direction for the circuit. We're to the inside of Nine Towers, and we are going to complete the pass. So there is no real slipstream run to the line here at all. So your pass is going to come into the final corner. Uh, or even maybe even before that, because it's not a very, it's not a really overtaking spot, the final corner. Um, so, yeah. Uh, chat coming up with hor horrific ideas for um, for merch to have a brazen lemon head pillow. <laughs> God. Don't, no one wants that, Christ. <laughs> That's just nightmare fuel. <laughs> I know, <laughs> you know, no, the, the, way, the way you do it is you get like the big, you get like the uh, like the full size cardboard cutout, and then you use it like we use James May, where we just kind of hide them around your friend's house, and you go on the tra <laughs> the travelling brazen, <laughs> and go on adventures. Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> the, the 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 lemon head is it is terrifying. There is no doubt about it. Uh, we're so far having quite a good race, while being distracted by the many horrific ideas of chat. We are actually having a good race so far. It is two by two over what is a relatively fast section. Oh, I got big oversteer. Still got oversteer going on. I don't know how we got away with uh, with all of that. Oh, another snappy oversteery moment. A little bit helped by Ewan through there, but we're fine. We'll go out the other side in one piece. Uh, Ewan will draw alongside. Still got oversteer going on uh, through there. Ewan will jump and make the pass stick. Chris is caught up. Whoa. That was a little late on the brakes. Ah. <laughs> careful. i uh, got to be careful because the bridges are kind of lined with explosives. Uh, the chains are from the sea mines. Oh, Ninetales clipped the building and Liam was very unlucky. So Ninetales' car came back around. Liam had nowhere to go. Ninetales couldn't have done much about that after clipping the building. You're just going to be stuck there. Uh, Danger Man is to the front of the race. We are back up to second again. Not really going to be able to do much through here. Just be patient. Bide our time. Get a good run on the exit if we can. Which... Ooh, okay. I say bide my time. I thought... Why well, I thought that was going to be a uh, bigger braking zone than it was. That was... Uh, yeah, not very clever. Go on then, Danger Man. We'll help you by pushing you back past Ewan again. Uh... <laughs> Uh, well, we bump drafted Danger Man back to the lead, so I feel like we, we lost a little bit of time. Or we lost Danger Man a little bit of time. We lost a little bit of time. But, um... Oh, God. It's about to get narrow. There's a gap somewhere in there. That's fine. We are through the middle. Chris, you lunatic. <laughs> oh, I don't know why Danger Man is green. I, the, everyone's changing colours. It's a confusing day, uh, apparently. Oh, Ewan's got a big slide. We're going to try and follow... Uh, we're going to try and follow Chris on the exit, but no one's really got a great runoff of here. Uh, we are sort of stuck 
don't know if I want to be on the outside. I might actually just have a little lift, drop back into line, let them sort themselves out. Not really oh, be too heavily involved in this at the moment because it's kind of uh, dicey through there. It might have actually been Danger Man that made contact with Glisker on lap one. I might have said Longbow and got it wrong because I just saw a green car and presumed. Oh, that's a lot of oversteer. Hey, Liam. <laughs> I was at the limit of grip. I was very much at the limit of grip through there. Did not have any room to manoeuvre. Uh, oh, yeah. Four wide down here. Great idea from everybody involved. Oh, less great idea. Less great idea. Uh, that was just a pick your place and hope. And unfortunately, my place had a spinning Ewan in it. God damn it. Thankfully, not the final lap of the race. Two more to go. Oh, it's been chaotic. It's been hard for, for racing so far as we head onto the motorway once more. I don't... You can make an overtake to the, to the inside of the hairpin. It is definitely doable down there, but don't have a big dive. It's not actually a very big braking zone. Uh, we've got a six-car battle for the lead. There's a little gap back to the next couple. Liam is looking for the wider turn in. We could not make the most of any opportunities through there. A lot of what I'm doing at the moment is more just being patient. It's more the case of don't get involved in any unnecessary squabbles. Oh, we got a big kick of oversteer. God damn it, I thought we'd got that one. Sort of set nicely, but nope, just random big slide. Kind of screwed us. Danger Man is to the outside fighting with Chris. Nine Tails is to the lead of the race. Liam with a good drive off the corner. Uh, we are going to... We have to pick who to follow. And I think we made a good call on the most part here. Liam is to the lead. We try... I mean, we're side by side. I'm so not trusting these cars. The back end is desperately wiggly. Uh, Danger Man with a little bit of a brush on us. Uh, I think yeah, Danger, Man did, Danger Man waited at the best possible uh, location. We were very close to just slithering off the track there. Chris is going to come back across the circuit. Uh, could not get underneath in time. So we just lose a bit of time behind that. Oh, we help Chris in the braking zone. Chris goes to the inside. Oh, there goes one of the sea mines. <laughs> Surprised it's taken this long before one's gone off, to be fair. Uh, we will pass Gliska. You don't want to be on the outside of that corner. It's a very dicey corner. That being said, though, it's a good run from the blue machine. Although it won't have the speed on the exit. We have a fantastic run down the start-finish straight. And we will take the lead of the race. But we've overcooked it. And the brakes, the back end again letting go with three wide. Oh, <laughs> it's too many cars. It's got very busy at the front here. Two wide is sketchy. Three wide is just downright crazy. And now we've got a very big gaggle of cars. <laughs> Ninetales, how have you even got over there? You're not supposed to be on that bit of the circuit. Uh, bloody hell. Danger Man's going to duck underneath. Gliska and Ewan are doing some rally cross out wide. We've got a good good run through here. Uh, no! Ewan! I don't know whether there was a car on the inside, but there was definitely... Uh, <laughs> there was definitely a shuffle across into that. Uh, so yeah, I have a feeling I have a feeling you and I got freaked out by a car on the left that I wasn't I wasn't looking what was to the left of you. Uh, so I have a feeling yeah, that might have been what happened is you and got freaked out by that, shuffled across and unfortunately for me, uh, there was just nowhere to go at that time uh, I was not expecting Lana to end up in the back of Gliska and suddenly stop stationary. <laughs> I saw Gliska spin, so I was like, right, okay. I'm prepared to deal with, with that. And, yeah, was not really expecting Lado to have, have the accident there. Uh, oh, Mutes ran wide and got in trouble. I mean, this is going to be a bit tough from this far back. Potentially, although we will get a clean run through all this section, which will help us. Uh, we were going to be in the fight, basically. Salmon's leading the way, but... The final lap, we will very much be in the fight if we don't all completely screw each other over and lose out to Salmon, which is possible because we're very good at fighting so hard for second place, we let the leader run away. Jamie on a very narrow line through there. You and Chris have had a tremendous accident right there. Uh, Ninetales thinking about going to the inside. Couldn't do it. Not really enough space. Me and Gliska side by side coming onto the motorway. Salmon continues to lead the way. Liam and Danger Man, I think it is, 
are giving chase. Now, of course, the catch-up's going to slow down the pink car. We've made a good gap through there. Uh, that is a very good gap through there, although it's not going to last because Gliska's going to fire it to the inside. That's fine. You can go through there. Not going to not going to fight that too much because uh, I want a good slipstream run down here, uh, which we have got. It's not really good enough, though. There is a childish having a look. Uh... Gliska is out wide. We're all trying to get a bit of curb boosting. The problem is no one's got any slipstream because we're all fighting each other side by side, which is allowing... It's not really allowing the leaders to get away, but we're not ca we're not capitalising on the leaders being side by side because we're all busy fighting each other. But we we can't not fight each other because you want to be in prime... You want to be the first car to catch the lead pack because, well, it's not much... There's not much time to go. We're up onto our side. I can't steer, Gliska. I'm really sorry. I mean... <laughs> I got I got pushed into that, and then we got put up onto two wheels, and once I'm on two wheels, I've got no steering anymore. Uh, Gliska, Gliska was unlucky. You're stuck on the outside of a car on two wheels that has absolutely no no control left in it. Uh, it's Danger Man versus Liam versus Sam, and Liam's looking for a little bit of a curb boost through here. Could we set this up? We might be able to set this up with an absolutely astonishing run. It's three wide towards the final corner. No one wants to lift. No one wants to lift, and it's going to be Liam that gets it. Uh, <laughs> uh. Yeah, we had to send that to the inside at the final corner. It was our chance at sneaking a victory. Um... But it, we just couldn't carry the momentum because we had to give enough sp enough space to cars all the outside. We just couldn't carry the momentum on that really tight line. Liam takes victory. We will get second. Danger Man, unlucky, got stuck on the outside of that one. Uh, <laughs> Salmon ends up fourth. Nine Tails is fifth ahead of Longbow. Longbow gets fast lap of the race. Ewan is seventh ahead of Shadow, Lado, and Childish. Yeah, Gliss got unlucky at the end. Um, gave, gave us a little tap that got my car sideways. It was a tiny, the tiniest little bit of contact, and then was. Uh, Repaid with a two-wheeled black fin. <laughs> I just couldn't steer out of it. There was nothing I could do about that. My car was fully out of control. And Gliska ended up off the side of the track. Uh, and out down in 12th. Ugh. Well, it was, a good it was a good request from Danger Man as far as, as far as circuits go. Yeah, there's some good racing around that one. It's a tough track there. It's a tough track. And there really is not much in the way of a slipstream run to the line. So all the passes happen on that. Um, that final corner and yeah, three wide is sketchy. Let's go with that. Um, let's 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 go with that. Oh, childish followed Glisker off the side. Yeah, no, don't do that. <laughs> don't 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 follow cars off the side of the mountain. It's generally a bad idea. Um, oh. Uh. Right, what are we going to race next? Shall we go supercar? Sure, we haven't done supercars today. Uh, do, 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 do. Don't want that. Uh, okay. Now, we're up to 21 people now. Uh, if you do want to take part, uh, you are more than welcome to. Uh, Ewan is the person to message, who is at the top of the list here. Yes, send a message to Ewan. On Xbox, you need to be on the enhanced version of the game if you want to take part. But, uh, yeah, send a message to Ewan. And he will try and get you connected as best as possible. Uh, Mal Malcolm Yet, thank you very much for the donation. It is much appreciated. Ah, we have speak. Oh, we spoke too much about the lemon, and the lemons turned up. It is how it works. If we if we talk about a filming crew member for long enough, they just appear. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but Brazen is here. Um, uh, Christian Sweden, thank you very much for the donation. I say, I want a Survive the Hunt t-shirt, simply saying, run to the hills. <laughs> that could work, actually. You could, That could definitely work with... Um, I don't know quite how. I, I See, I'm the world's worst graphic designer, but I'm just terrible. I, I am very good at creative stuff in terms of video ideas and challenge ideas, and I am terrible at creative stuff in terms of art. I just suck at it. But, uh, yeah, you could definitely have, like, uh, some form of car and some form of hills in the background, 
and it be kind of a like in the know you'd know what it means but otherwise you it, it would just seem like a a motoring sort of t-shirt um yeah i quite like that one. i believe there is a survive the hunt thing again a survive the hunt thing is being worked on i i know we do kind of have the hunted t-shirt that, that is that um but yeah there is there is stuff being worked on but yeah we always always like the ideas um so yeah, there we go. That Lado is Lado is in chat as well. Uh, right, let's go race the supercars around here. This can only go well. Um, all right, da, 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 da. here we begin. Uh, I'm also cause my office has got really hot this evening. I'm just going to turn my fan on. Do shout at me, chat, if you can hear it on the microphone. I don't think. I don't think my microphone particularly picks it up. No, it doesn't really seem to. Uh, let me know if it does become a problem, though. Have I ever driven the Zeno? I must have done. The Ignis I know I've driven. I don't think I've ever driven the Zeno, so I'm going to have a go with it. Uh, <laughs> uh, that, that, will, that will be good, I'm sure. Uh, let's find out. What could possibly go wrong? Yes, cr <laughs> Crane is indeed a train, if in doubt. Uh, so we've got a few of the Zenos, we've got a few Ignises. The cha I love, I think it's the champion, isn't it? I love the look of the champion. I love the real car, the Aston Martin Victor, Ooh. whatever the hell it is. Amazing car. Unfortunately, it's. I don't think it's particularly fast in GTA from what I remember. Could be wrong. However, uh, from, from what I remember, it is uh, not all that quick against the Ignis... But I don't know how fast this thing is. I'm presuming this is on par with you. I could be completely wrong. But uh, I, I seem to remember being said that it wasn't particularly fast. Although, of course, Slipstream and Catch Up will generally alter all of this. We are to the outside. I'm not actually going to go around the outside of Glisker. I'm always going to... Because of the speeds involved in that corner and the tendency to understeer for cars, I'm always going to try and duck back underneath um, rather than try and hold it around the outside and, and risk... Uh, getting fired off the circuit basically we've got ignises all around us although salmon is now joining the fray uh, there what is this what is this the, the, the zeno based on is it that uh, i was gonna say the hennessy but no i mean the ignis is the cyan the lamborghini but i don't actually quite know i feel like i recognize the wing mirrors on this car but i can't remember what one they're from I, the problem is, is the modern hypercars, there is a billion near-identical modern hypercars, and I'm just not sure what one this is. <laughs> this one is, is based on. Uh-oh. That was scary. Uh, I'm sure chat will tell us at some point. I feel like the fact that Gliska's got that far away is not looking... Oh, the SSC Tarantula, is that what it's based on? Could be. Could be, actually. That would make sense. Um... I, I, I can't remember what that car is amazingly well. Oh, dear. <laughs> I, admit, I will say I looked at chat slightly. Was not helped by a bump. <laughs> uh, I don't want to reverse because that will just cause chaos. Uh, whoa! Well, at least it was a safe rejoin. It, was, it wasn't the safest rejoin in the world, but it was a safer rejoin than it could have been. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, it could, the SSC would make sense. Um, hey, Brazen. <laughs> right, I mean, we can we can make progress forward, I guess, in this race. We're going to have to hope for it. Oh, Brazen's having a... By the looks of it, the Ignis was quite fast. But I don't know whether that was just because we were being slow or whether that car was just genuinely quick here. Uh, we will try and not make... I mean, we can't afford any more mistakes. We're not winning this race, I doubt, I doubt it. Uh, we would have to have a very, very good recovery drive. Now, they're possible. We've seen some quite impressive recovery drives in the past, uh, from me and from others, to be fair. But this is a, there's a lot of cars to try and overtake around a track that is not the easiest. There's not the most slipstream. There's not the most catch-up effect here. So I think it's unlucky. A top 10 is what I'm aiming for. Now, Mute is very laggy. Uh, Liam's had an adventure. Yeah, Mute is flying and 
all sorts of problems. I, the, the scary thing is, is I just genuinely don't know where Mute's car is. Although it looks like I think Mute may have pulled off and might have been told how much they're lacking. <laughs> it's possible. That is definitely possible. Um, just yeah, if, if you've got that much lag, you generally uh, it's, it's kind if uh, if you pull over and because it's impossible to race a car that's, that's glitching about like that. So yeah, sometimes people will just pull over and reset router or whatever might work to uh, fix that one. Right, Kevlar, come here. We will uh, <laughs> try get some slipstream. Not quite. Oh, never mind. Don't need to. The orange car bumped the armco. That'll put me up to 14. So my goal of a top 10 from here... I mean, we'll work on the basis that there's going to be more crashes up ahead. It's not going to be a completely clean race. We're not even at half distance yet, technically. So, we're going to presume there will be crashes still to come. So, if we can keep things sensible and clean and no, no mistakes, then I think that's a reasonable goal. Uh, now, how brave dare I be? Well, oh, I've got Zoomy Cat. That was a cast just launched. It was full... Full speed Cass shot out of the office. I don't quite know where he's gone. Normally when he does that, he's chasing Eve. But Eve is nowhere in sight. Or maybe he's gone off to find Eve. Uh, <laughs> oh, too much speed, too much speed. Almost did, well, almost did what Chris did, actually. Down there. We got away with it. This is uh, me pushing this card as hard as I dare. Trying to... <laughs> That's close as well. <laughs> Found a building. Uh, yeah, this is me trying to extract every last bit of performance I can out of this car uh, in the hope of getting a top 10. Brazen has exploded, but I'm not 100% sure how much more this car actually has to give, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, oh, I think the Ignis is just better. Uh, <laughs> it does seem like that Ignis is just the better way to go uh, over here. So it's a little bit of an uphill battle for us, but I will do my very best to uh, uh, to fight where we can. So Kevlar's going to have... No, I'm not going to have the run, actually. Up here. I was I was contemplating whether... I, I mean, I would give the inside... Uh, oh, never mind, my made an accident. Um, it's, uh, <laughs> I would probably give it up the inside in some of these corners. So the last thing I want is an accident at this stage of the race. I don't want to get involved in anyone's bumps and shunts and crashes. Uh, what? So I'd let a car go past, and then if the Ignis is fast, I'll just slipstream behind it, and hopefully it'll drag me up towards the next group of cars. Uh, however, yeah, with a mistake, it's now fallen back. So we are on our own. We'll try to chase down this group ahead, which is tough. Whoa. When you've got nothing to slipstream off of, it is not easy. Salmon has made an accident as well. Uh, through there. I don't know why I've gone to that is the way of phrasing it. But, it, you know, we have apparently. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's slides from both of our cars. Uh, I do, this is a great track. I will, I will say this is a fantastic track. It really does test the cars. You are constantly, constantly on edge. Especially with this, this uh, Xenos. Xenos, however you want to pronounce it, uh, is always oy, right on the limit of of grip throughout the lap. I mean, a top 10, so Valentine up ahead has an Ignis. I don't know who might have an Ignis from the group further up. Uh, sorry, but there's, you know, I, don't know, I don't know who has what car further up. Salmon gets past. We try to duck underneath. Can't quite do it through here. This is not really what we wanted. Uh, so we will fall back into line. No slipstream. Absolutely nothing going up that hill. That's frustrating. Uh, can we get a sneaky little bit of a curb boost through there? There's the slipstream that we did want. Did not, because it's not a very long straight, and it's not a very straight straight down there. Uh, <laughs> did not really make the most of it, unfortunately. Uh, we are back ahead of Salmon, but did not get kind of fired towards Valentine as much as I would have liked. Oh, although Valentine's made a little mistake down there as well. It's just the back end of these cars, they're moving around so much. It's so easy to uh, get in trouble. That was commitment through that section. Salmon pretty much followed us through there as well. Actually, pretty pleased with how we got through that part. It was lovely. When it goes right through there, it's amazing. 
Uh, it just doesn't go right often enough. Again, back in, wanting to let go. Salmon did not quite go with as much bravery through that section. Uh, but a wall tap for both of us. We end up pushing Valatane forward through there. Is this onto the final lap? This is the final lap of the race. Can we find a way past? Possibly. The <laughs> Valatane bumped the wall. Salmon is here. So we've got a little bit stacked up in all of this. Uh, behind Valatane, who hasn't been having a great final lap. Uh, we have got the run this time. We are to the inside. You've got to be careful on the inside because it's a very tight... Oh, it's a tighter line through there. We tend to be a little bit compromised on the exit, which we were. However, we kept the car parked where we needed to be. Uh, no. I say no. We may have been a little early on the brakes. It's also possible Valentine hasn't been in the slipstream of anybody at any point and didn't know where the brake was going to be with suddenly a huge amount of slipstream. So... Yeah, I don't know. Don't know which one that was. Combination of both, perhaps as well. Um, I think I might have brake check Valentine a little bit through there. <laughs> it certainly didn't help. Not an intentional brake check, but I think we were a smidge early. All right, Ooh. through this next section we go. Now, if we can be very quick through here, we might be able to break the toe. Danger Man takes victory. Although we have got Valtrek. Our oh, Valtrek might ruin the Xenos fight for tenth with an Ignus. <laughs> that was all of the limit for us right there. I've got no vibration going on. I can try and fix that before the next race. Oh, that was, again, absolutely on the limit of what the Xenos can do through there. We head into the final corner. We bump the wall. We get 10th. Whew. We did it. I mean, it's, it's odd to sell it up. Uh, question is, are we the highest? No, we aren't the highest place Zeno. Ewan got a Zeno up to sixth. Well done, Ewan. Um, yeah, it's safe to say our cars were not as fast as the Ignis. <laughs> they were nowhere near as fast as the Ignis. Oh, it was a fun battle. We had a fun battle with uh, Valentine and, and Salmon at the end of that one. Um, but uh, yeah, Ewan is the winner of the Zeno class. Uh, right, where is my controller wire? Give me a second. Ugh. Right, last thing we need. We might have random bits of voice didn't, chat didn't do anything. coming through until it starts. There we go, until it starts working. Ah, well done to Danger Man, who took overall a victory. Gliska is second, Ninetales is third, ahead of Childish. Lado ends up in fifth. Ahead of you and Longbow Stevie Shadow, and I would round out the top 10 in this one. Um, but yeah, there we go. That was that was a good fun. That was a good fun race. That was a good a good request uh, from uh, from Danger Man. Hello, Cast. You're being very distracto, Cat. You've had zoomies. You've knocked the bin over. Um, yeah, you're in all of the. Uh, you know, in all of the zoomy mood this evening. Ah, uh, sound of white noise. Thank you very much for the donation. Saying, can I submit a merch idea? Uh, a body pillow with Alex's GTA character on it for definitely non-weird reasons. I don't think there's any non-weird reasons for that. I can't imagine it's going to sell very well. I can't imagine why anybody would want said thing. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, I somehow suspect that one will not make it to production. I, I somehow get the feeling that one won't make it to a production. <laughs> uh, unit uh, X81, thank you very much for the donation. Just trying to uh, get the donation bar to read 81, which it does currently. Uh, Mr. Sumo, thank you very much for the donation. So another great uh, Sunday stream. Any update on how Carly's doggo is doing? Thanks, Alex. Well, basically... It had the, the dark hack x rays on Thursday, I think it was, where they're pretty sure, well, he's going to need, most likely, going to need surgery for the, the ACL in one of its rear leg right hand side. Uh, so we've got to take got to take the dog to the specialist on Tuesday and then kind of going from there. Uh, so, yeah, it's, I mean, like the, the Husky is okay. You know, it's okay in itself. It just can't really go on walks properly at the moment because it can't, the dog can't walk very far and kind of struggles a bit with, with stairs and, and that sort of stuff. It's not terrible. Uh, it can get up and down stairs 
on the most part, but anything longer than sort of like a five five minute walk, maybe a ten minute walk at most, um, is is very hard work for the dog. So yeah, go into a specialist on Tuesday, and then we will know more and hopefully get it sorted out for operations and all of that kind of thing. Uh, then then, but yeah, won't really know much until until Tuesday uh, when we see the. the Specialist, I forgot what they were called, but yeah, that one. Uh, Turbo Cookie, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying hi, Alex. I hope you and the crew are okay. Just watching your stream while looking at parts for your for a gaming PC build. Just wonder what graphics card you're using, as well as the games uh, you play run smoothly. Well, so my computer is quite old at this point. Uh, I oh god, how long have I had this computer? Six, seven years. Uh, I have got twin 1080 GTXs in my computer. Uh, I've had it for a long time, like that. Um, it runs just about everything pretty well. Uh, it's not the... I haven't really come across a game that it doesn't run. <laughs> Beam, it runs well. It's not the most powerful computer. I think... I, I don't want... Of, of the film beam, well, of the filming crew, of the people that film on beam, but I think Speed Beast might have one of the best computers. Amy's is pretty good as well. Um, there are computers that run better than mine, but mine is still mine still holds up for being six or so years old. Um, I mean, when I got it, it was pretty much top of the line, uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it is a little bit old now. Um, but yeah, that's 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 what I want. Best of luck with building. Uh, building a new computer. I will probably be upgrading at some point in the not crazy distant future as well. Um, I don't quite know what I'm going to go for yet, but there will probably be uh, an upgrade to my PC, and Carly's going to get the one that I'm currently using to stream and so on. But uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, there will probably there will probably be an upgrade to mine. But yeah, it, it, it runs. It, I haven't come across a game it can't run. Beam is probably the most taxing on it that I have played, although. Uh, have I played any other taxing games? I'm trying to think what else. What else have I played on PC recently? Ah. Uh, well, you know what? I'm going to load up Steam while we get everyone connected. What else? Have I? I haven't been. I haven't been playing all that much on P. Oh, I've been playing Satisfactory. That's probably the last. I mean, that can get taxing when you have a big factory, but mine's not really got that far into it. Uh, so, but yeah, most, most, most games on, on mine will, will, will work, uh, no problem at all. So, but yeah, best of luck with everyone's building PCs at the, <laughs> at the moment, it is that time. Uh, it is, it is that time. Uh, Chris, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying Subaru used to import right-hand drive legacy estates into the... Uh, United States exclusively for the US Postal Service so that the post delivery people could hop out curbside and drop letters and parcels into mailboxes. You know, that actually kind of makes sense. That, yeah. I could see the logic. I, I could see the logic behind that. Um, yeah, that's actually not a bad thing. Isn't that why? Not exactly why but isn't that the reason why the Veloster has the weird three door layout so that the backs that the passengers on the uh, the back the back seats couldn't get out into the road i might be wrong i might be wrong on that one but i believe that was why the Veloster did that um but yeah that that is it's, that that is some chris esque logic uh, behind there for, for Subaru. In fact, it does kind of make, wouldn't have been what I would have thought about doing, but it does actually, you know, kind of make sense. Uh, does this... Pone, you're, you're hanging around. Is this locked? Oh, we haven't got you into the, into this game. Um, Pone, is this locked to certain vehicles or are we going to have to tell people to drive certain vehicles? I can't remember. It's been so long since... I say it's been so It's been a while since we've... Uh, driven this one um so yeah pone do let me know if that is the way that it's going to work basically <laughs> um yeah I i'm hoping it's locked to specific class specific vehicles i mean it, it's it doesn't really matter if it isn't because it's going to be silly uh it's not locked okay cool so we'll have the same rules that we did normally um 
whereby you can use what you want, however you are not allowed to use an armoured vehicle. Uh, no armoured vehicles are allowed in this one. Um, oh, okay, so it's not updated... No cars have been updated since September 2020, so probably no armoured cars, but if there is an armoured car in the category, you're not allowed to use it anyway. Uh, we're going to start off with SUVs and see what happens, really, on this one. <laughs> uh, hold on to your butts, because it's, it's probably going to be manic. Uh, if you haven't ever seen this um, track before... It's a combination of three mad brazen circuits. An incredibly well-made combination of three mad brazen circuits. Um, lots of cars are going to fall off. Lots of cars are going to go flying. Lots of silliness is going to happen. Uh, <laughs> uh, has, has everyone in chat been good by buying plenty of merch? Look, the more merch you buy, the longer Lado is stuck in the basement for. Okay, if you don't buy merch, Lado gets out of the basement. Lado gets distracted and bored, uh, so he gets out of the basement. But if you buy lots of merch, uh, <laughs> then, then Lado has no free time, and Lado is stuck in the basement forever, right? <laughs> uh, shall we get this very silly race underway? We don't have any of the new SUVs. I don't know what the best... Because we won't have, like, the... No, no, whatever the Urus is called. I've forgotten what it's called. Um... Whatever. I don't think we're going to have any of, the, any of the new vehicles in the game. So it's going to be like Huntley is quite okay. Uh, oh, there is some armoured. Okay, well, you're not allowed those. <laughs> oh, they do have the new ones. The Tauros is here. Uh, the Mapuva is here. I mean, I'm going to... I like driving this. The Tauros is the fastest. Um, I didn't think these were going to be in the, in the thing. But uh, yeah, the Tauros and so on is, is technically the fastest. But I like the Rebler. If I'm if I'm going to if I'm going to have to drive an SUV, the Rebler is um, one of one of my preferred ones. Drive has some very good racing. Uh, yes, as Brett says, the, the fail race sails slowly. Keep Lado in the dungeon, buy our merch. <laughs> it's the way to go. Honestly, <laughs> the more you buy, the longer Lado is stuck in the dungeon for. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> That is an out-of-context quote if ever I heard one. Um, Alright, onwards to the race we go. The uh, the Rebelers are off the line. Gliska has got the Contender. Ooh. I can't remember what the big SUV thing is. Or maybe not the worst idea ever, those. I mean, you want something quite... Ooh. Uh oh. Yeah, little a little tag is not what you need to be doing through there. Oh, crap. I see something flying through the air. Please don't! Hey, thank you. <laughs> that could have gone really badly for us. <laughs> Thankfully, Chris managed to kind of spin it around and got going again. Uh, is that you and having a terrible day? It might well be. We are through the footballs. Uh, footballs actually kind of slow us down a bit this time around. Blessinger is following. Liam is also with us here. So we have a bit of a three-car breakaway at the front. Oh, this gave us a big bump through there. Oh, crap. Well, oh, well. Forgot they changed how the physics work on that. <laughs> it used to be the case the first car to hit the, the missile pods didn't explode, and the subsequent ones did. Now it's just every car that hits it explodes. And, yeah, you don't actually really want to be the leader at that point. At least there was mutually assured destruction right there. Uh... So, you know, there is there is that. Oh, okay, off the top part there. Oh, crap, I did exactly what Childish did, because I wanted to drop down to that side. Uh, oh, Drake exploded on landing. We're still spinning around. Mute has punted Ewan forward? Yeah, Ewan's actually got that habanero quite far up the field, all things considered. And then we're on to the Jolly Boost section, and then immediately onto the brakes. And I thought we were going to kill you, oh, never mind, you has fallen over. <laughs> that was a great roll, you, and 10 out of 10 effort on the rolling right there. Uh, jump, and it's fine. It's fine. Danger Man is leading the way. Lado is second. I think Danger Man's in the Novak. Uh, Lado, I believe, was in a Rebeler as well. Uh, 
a lot is going to happen between now and the end of the race. And by the looks of it, bad things have happened to Lado because, yeah, Lado is now right there. Oh, hello, Lombo. Hello, Pone. Hello, everybody. Uh, it's all getting quite busy through here. Where is that grey car going? Oh, they've gone to the outside. Okay, we made that all through there quite sensibly. We've caught up massively considering... Considering where we were half a lap ago, we have caught up to Danger Man really well. Chris had an argument with a metal frame and almost lost. Uh, <laughs> the frame definitely did uh, come out fairly well in all of that. Uh, right, keep the vehicle low through here. Whoa, that's fine, that's fine, nicely does it. On to the boost pads we head, trying to taste, chase it down the Danger Man. Although this, um, this jump here I've always struggled with getting best. No, I like to pull the car to the right, but you want to pull the car uh, slightly further right so you don't hit that bit of wall. It is us versus Danger Man heading towards the Jolly Boost and we lost the back end. Not going to go too wide for the exit of this part. Uh, never a good idea. Heavy on the brakes. Slipstream is dangerous down there. You do not want to be dealing with that. Danger Man put a wheel on the boost pad and Danger Man's gone. <laughs> yeah. So, D Danger Man made the corner, but couldn't uh, get it turned. Uh, like, made, made the corner, but couldn't turn it without hitting the boost pad. And that just fired with way too much speed towards the next turn. And so, Danger Man went off the map. We are leading the way. Lado is in second, I think. There's a lot of cross traffic going on down here. Uh, we'll follow Stevie. Stevie can clear a path. Oh! I say we'll follow Stevie. And then, oh, Ewan's doing round and round a tyre. Game, sure. Okay. Woo! Hello! <laughs> Sudden appearing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we're fine. Fine. All is safe. All is mostly safe. Let's not crash into Jamie again. Uh, that's fine. There is... No, we've got enough time that we can... Ooh! <laughs> well, that is a mur... A murder has occurred. I'm not sure who it was on, but there was a murder from one of the contender pickup trucks. Definitely fired something into a tube. Uh, we will nick a little bit of boost off there. That's fine. Uh, we have got five seconds over Lado, and then it is 20 seconds back to Liam. Anything can happen on this track. I still can't get that that kind of change of direction right. Woo! <laughs> there was a, a gap. A beautiful little gap appeared there that we were able to just uh, drive the vehicle through. Oh, bit of understeer through that section. Oh! <laughs> that is a death. Uh, panic and break. <laughs> That's still having a death. <laughs> that was a very big roll for the brown car. Uh, we're going to jump towards Pone. That's fine. Hello, Ninetales. Hello, Brazen. Oh, no! <laughs> I don't know what way to go. <laughs> Thankfully, there is a gap. <laughs> We did the very British thing of going one way and then the other way, and we both managed to go the same way as each other. Oh, hello, Po. <laughs> going round corners and suddenly facing almost immediate death. It's sketchy. The brazen theft is a sketchy circuit. Ewan is still playing in the tyre. I can tell things have not gone well for Ewan this race. Uh, oh, God, crashes are galore. Uh, we are relatively clear onto this bit. Whoa. Lado. Did get on the brakes. I was going to dive to the inside, uh, but I thought we were clear to get across the middle one, and we kind of were. It was close, though. Drake followed us with a lot of speed as well uh, through that, which did not make things quite as easy as they could have been. Uh, is the way it goes. Oh, jeez. More death. <laughs> just uh, might have made this race a little bit too long. Death is, is just around us at the moment, mercifully avoiding us. Oh, never mind. Hey, Mew. No. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> How? How are we alive? That should... We should never have survived that. <laughs> there is zero chance. Zero... Oh, crap. Uh, that's... Oh, the wrong way. Still the wrong way. Still the wrong way. Uh, Rebler. Okay, I was trying to get in front of Brazen, and it kind of worked, and kind of didn't, and we are still 16 seconds clear of uh, Lado, so... <laughs> we have got... Yeah, oh no, we're a lot less than that now. We we had a big gap, 
thankfully, because we've used up pretty much all of it in that mess of a section. Uh, although, again, it was bad. We lost a lot of time, but it could have been so much worse. Uh, sort of like two corners there were a sequence of just pure terribleness, but we survived. Uh, right. We will go across over here. We'll follow... I think it might be Mute up there with that one. Oh, all is fine. Oh, that came out of ghost mode at a really awkward moment. But, oh, and then clipped the edge. That's a whoop. <laughs> There's a purple car very much out of control. Uh, we're just going to tuck to the inside up here. And then, oh, fire to the outside as some vehicles get in trouble. I mean, that's okay. I don't actually want the first boost pad there because I want more control. I want more time to land and prepare my car for the next corner. Which is why I'm, you'll find me avoiding that boost pad. Oh, well, that's okay. I think Ladder got caught on the outside. Might got caught on the tyre bundles. Hello, Liam. No idea Liam was approaching from that corner. That uh, surprised the crap out of me. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not what we need. That is not what we need at all. Okay, jump down here. Again, I'm not too fussed about missing the odd boost pad. When we have the lead like this, I'm sometimes happy to avoid the boost pads almost because more control is more good. Uh, whoop. That boost pad I'll get, but that's mostly because I'm desperately trying to get out of the way of traffic uh, from the crossover, because the crossover is dangerous. I mean, there's, there's always an element of more control is more good. Sometimes those speed can get you out of trouble. Sometimes those speed can get you into trouble, uh, which is definitely the case of what happened there. Uh, we're the wrong side of the wall, but that's fine. We'll recover. Uh, there was some orange on orange friendly fire occurred right there. <laughs> uh, whoop. Uh, that's not the route you're supposed to take, but never mind. One more lap. One more lap. One more time around for us. We have got four seconds over Danger Man. Uh, so Danger Man has had a good couple of laps. Has caught up from being not really in the conversation uh, to the closest challenger currently. Uh, we will... I, mean, I didn't really want to go that far wide, but... It was the clear line, so sometimes you just take the line that is that, that is open to you. Bad, 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 bad. Did not even see that car coming. Uh, <laughs> oh, we're third now. Damn it. We'd had such a good race, but I just did not see that vehicle approaching. I saw Drake, and I thought we were clear. Was Drake. We saw a car approach backwards, and I thought we were clear. And then there was just absolutely no no thing that we could do there to avoid that because uh, we were just set up and we were going for it ah bugger it does look like unless anything untoward happens which let's face it is very possible around it now we have no choice but to hit every boost pad we can uh, our best bet is going to be speed our best bet here is actually going to not be that though really oh no we got hit anyway ah yeah, so that... I was going for the carry more speed approach, and it actually kind of worked. We landed okay, but then we got T-burned anyway. It wouldn't really have mattered, I don't think, what line we would have taken. Although I think Danger Man made a mistake. Ninetales has uh, overtaken. Oh, God. It's all gone wrong on the final lap. It was going so well. Oh, wow. That got, that got set really far back there. Yeah, it was going so well. Ninetales takes victory in this one. Uh, we are on the brakes through there. Danger Man, I presume, will cross the line in second. There we go. Danger Man has finished. Uh, we tried, but there was not much we could have done at the end there. Oh, there has been some death. But it's going to be a third. It's a podium. Could have been better. Should maybe have been better. Ah. Damn it. Disappointment. <laughs> Disappointment indeed. Uh, however, I say disappointment. Look, it's bloody um, a brazen theft. We had a good run. We had a good run. We made as much of it as we could. But in the end, yeah, that was all we can manage. Nine tails takes victory. Danger Man is second. Valentine ends up fourth. Ladder's fifth. Head of Childish. Gliska, Liam, Chris, and Mute would round out the top ten. Ah. <sighs> Uh, donations to read as the race is going to be 
uh, winding down. Uh, Andrew, thank you very much for the donation. They're saying July the 22nd, 1894, at the Parisian uh, magazine Le Petit Journal organised what is considered to be the world's first motoring competition from Paris to Rouen. Uh, sporting events were a tried and tested form of publicity stunt and circulation booster. Ah, well, there, there we go. I, I genuinely don't know if... Uh, <laughs> it sounds about accurate. We know it started... Uh, uh, you know, a lot of motor racing did start in France, and I was watching a video the other day. What was it? I think it might have been slap shoes, actually. It was talking about sprint cars, and yeah, it, it was in the really early days of motorsport. The you didn't have them on TV or radio, so like the results were put in the paper, and if people wanted to know the results, they had to buy the paper. So yeah, that sounds I say it sounds pretty accurate. Um, but yeah, it's a strange it's a strange thing to think that the the racing was. Um, initially done to kind of sell back. And because, you know, people, if there's two cars, people are always going to race to see what's faster. But it is, yeah, kind of interesting that it was helped along by the newspapers and, and equivalents of, of that sort of day. Uh, Vanessa, thank you very much for the donations. They uh, just, just bought uh, merch. Can't wait for it to get here now. Ah, well, thank you very much for keeping Lado busy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that'll get sent off to you in no time. Uh, I hope you uh, hope you enjoy the enjoy the merch. Uh, through the gate, thank you for the uh, donation. Saying thanks uh, to you and the track requesters for showcasing a lot of the classic wacky tracks today. We've had we've had some good tracks certainly uh, going on. Ewan is just making everybody dizzy in the background. I wasn't I wasn't really paying any attention and just reading chat. There you go. Yeah, the, the tire you can drive around in circles. Because. <laughs> um, I think Ewan discovered this one time and while probably streaming this. And yeah, now it's just... If Ewan has a bad race, Ewan goes and drives in circles around here. Uh, A-Rod, thank you very much for the donation. So he's sending this donation while screaming down I-35 on a road trip. Uh, I'm not driving. Did you know that the RC car in GTA was originally going to be a bifter? The devs couldn't get it to work, though. It was a little buggy. <laughs> oh... You know what? Because you managed to make a terrible pun out of a GTA vehicle, I'm not going to give you a boo. Um, I'm, I'm not going to give you a boo. I like that. Well, it was terrible, but because it is relevant, I'm not going to give you a boo on that one. <laughs> I don't know what chat is going to feel about it. However, however, from me, um, I, you're not going to get a boo. <laughs> uh there we go. Right. We will maybe do a few less laps. I forgot. I mean, it wasn't a crazy long race, but it was like that was slightly longer than perhaps was initially intended, shall we say. Uh, right, let's go. Five laps. Uh, let's go muscle cars, actually. Muscle's quite an interesting category for this. Um, yeah, <laughs> the, the tyre, the tyre is indeed Ewan's hamster wheel. Uh, sound makes a very good point. Um, that is, to be fair, that's probably what's powering the GTA servers on most days. Maybe they have two of them that they put together sometimes. Uh, but <laughs> on the, on the most part, it's just, it's just one broken car driving around a circle, desperately trying to keep the servers working. I think that's how it works. Oh, crap. Forgot to do that. Uh, not that it really matters, so I think we're about to go get going anyway. Uh, we will... Yeah, do that. Uh, I think we are all set. Uh, Chris, thank you very much for the donation. Saying the Ford Mustang uh, was originally supposed to be called Allegro. However, Austin had trademarked that name nearly 10 years prior to the Austin's release. Uh, other names for the Mustang included uh, Torino, uh, Cougar, and uh, Aventura. Well, I mean, the Torino and Cougar were used by Ford, in fact, later on. <laughs> uh, what I presume Allegro means something, right? If, if Ford wanted to use that name initially and Austin ended up using it, I presume it means something in a language. I don't know what it is. Um, but, uh, yeah, I feel like the Mustang is one of those cars, whatever, 
we're so used to the Mustang is so well known, it's so ingrained in in car culture, if you like. It's insane to think of it being called anything else. But if it had been from the start, um you know, we just got used to it. Uh Mr. Silver saying Allegro is Latin or Whoa. Italian for fast. Uh Okay, Allegro, like, tempo and music. Okay. That makes sense. So why on earth did Austin make an absolutely god-awful thing? <laughs> like, for the Mustang, that would make sense. That would have made sense for a, a, a more sporty car. Um, why on earth did Austin use that name for something so not good? Uh, right, oh, no Dukes of Death. Let's just remember, of course. Um, <laughs> let us... Uh, let us not use the Dukes of Death um, going into uh, going into this one. I don't think there's any or any armoured cars. The Dukes of Death is the only one I can think of. There's possibly some armoured cars around um, uh, around the place, but uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, I got distracted. Uh, Chase is saying from the makers of the Brave Little Toaster comes a big adventure. Uh, Ewan as the Brave Little Generator. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! Yes, Ewan is Ewan is the brave little generator that keeps the servers running. Um, right, let's go and let's go and race. Uh, units, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, that was just to get the donation bar to read point eighty one, which it did. Uh, Drake, thank you for the donation. Uh, saying, will we end on straight line? Uh, someone said, uh, I, I need a win on that now, unless. Uh, unless they are expecting more from Drake Airlines. I think it's unlikely we're going to straight line again this time because we've done it far, a lot far too much. We've done it quite a lot recently. Um, what the hell do I want for this category? None of those. Uh, do we have any of the faster, newer cars? Uh, uh, actually, you know I'm going to try driving this. I don't normally drive the click, but we're going to have a go with it. So let's, let's try it. Um... I'm not sure what we have planned for finishing the stream, to be fair. I haven't thought that far ahead yet. Uh, by the way, who are you rooting for in the uh, F1 Miami GP? Please be a British driver. I am. I am. I want to see Alonso win. Uh, that's who I'd like to see win. I don't, I don't think he will, um, but I'm, 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 these days I'm always rooting for an Alonso win. As I said at the start, I am rooting for someone different. Uh, <laughs> Essentially, just anyone different to to get a victory, but it would be it would be especially good, I think, to see Alonso. I, you know, Alonso's won won plenty, and I was never the biggest Alonso fan. I've always had immense respect for the amount of speed Alonso could get out of anything. Um, but I was never the biggest Alonso fan. However, it would be amazing to see Alonso get a victory, especially with an Aston Martin. Oh, by mute. <laughs> <laughs> Mute's had a really bad day there. Uh, so, yeah, that is that is who I am rooting for. Pretty much all of this season, I think. Um, just end, it's the under, that's, Alonso, and it's strange to say this about Alonso, but Alonso is the underdog, I think, that has the best chance of, uh, of throwing a surprise. But, uh, yeah. Uh, and also, uh, Unit, thank you very much for another donation to make the donation of our read 8181. That is quite impressive. I'm going to take a very funky line through there and not explode. Someone tried to follow me, and I don't quite know who it was. Was it Longbow? I think it might have been. I think it might have been Longbow went to take a similar route. Oh, crap! I've beansed it all up! I, I thought they were clear because I saw an explosion, and I just presumed that they had been cleared out, so I went to take my sl slightly sneaky line, and I just... <laughs> oh, for God's sake, I'm an idiot. Oh, hello. Goodbye. I'm off. Uh... <laughs> Oh, bugger. It's not gone very well, this one. We're about to go flip over a... Whoa. Gliska's ki uh, Sorry, Chris has killed Gliska and Salmon. I don't quite know how, but... Uh, there we go. We are going to struggle to make that corner. Is that Lado? Yep, Lado's just got flung. Oh, that's some lag. Hello. All is fine. We are... Uh, battling with Shadow here over the top 10 positions. But I mean, we saw last time out, a lot is going to happen here. Leading at this stage in the race doesn't necessarily mean all that much. Oh, dear. I mean, it's helpful. But Childish just got chucked off of the circuit, so... 
<laughs> you know, a lot can happen to uh, oh, Ewan. Are you trying the really dangerous line? Yeah, Ewan tried it. I mean, 10 out of 10 effort. That is a line that you can pull off, but it's so difficult to get right. I applaud the effort, and it was so close to working. <laughs> it's not a line that I would be intending on going myself. However, if you can make it work, it's a great line if you can do it. It's just very difficult to do. Um, oh, crap. Oh, crap! <laughs> Childish, please save that. Oh, you did. You saved it, and then you got launched by Brazen. I, I lifted, I slowed, and then the slipstream in the air just dragged me forward with so much momentum that it's like, well, I'm going to have to do this now. We somehow fitted two cars across the um, uh, like container bit, and I think Childish would have been okay had it not been for I think it was a Brazen. Uh, nothing brazen could have done. Oh, well, we're going this way. Yep, we're definitely going this way. Kliska did not want to go this way. <laughs> but, uh, uh, <laughs> things have gone wrong. Uh-oh. Uh, right. Can I get my car down there? Yep. Nope. Well, I mean, I got it down. We then got chucked back. I just crash into Kevlar a lot at this point. Whoop. This is all quite close. Oh, we're seventh. Who lead? Nine Tails is leading by some 28 seconds. Then it's Longbow and second Liam Mute, Drake and Mafia are all up there. Oh, okay. We got a little bit slidey. Oh, that's a really bad place to come out of ghost mode and we're off. Sorry, Gliska. You were in ghost mode. I was sort of a semi... I didn't have much control and I was semi hoping you were going to stay in there. But of course, you literally phased out of it at the worst time you could imagine. So, yeah, that's gone poorly for for Gliska. I mean, poorly for us as well, because we got chucked off the map anyway. Uh, woo. All is fine. Uh, Ewan is desperate to make that line work, and I really respect the effort. It's a great effort, but so far it is not working. <laughs> we caught up to Mutant Longbow. I think we have. Oh, hello. That's a slide and a half. Uh, right. Oh, dear. Oh, no, 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 don't go that way, Ewan. <laughs> Some poo might have come out. <laughs> there was a... Oh, oh, crap. Oh, well, we're through the middle. We've actually caught up to nine tails out. We're in the fight for the lead now, maybe. Longbow's gone straight on, which makes me think Longbow might have had to go AFK or controller issues or something's happened. Because Longbow was right there in the fight. Ninetales is right ahead and the truck's just gone. Oh, that, yeah, Longbow's parked, so I'm gonna think mate, some sort of issue has occurred to uh, uh, hinder Longbow's race. Don't quite know what the issues are. Me and Ninetales are taking this alternate slightly safer line, which I do think is the woo better option. I so, see, yeah, we've caught up 20 seconds this lap. Mute is in the fight as well and does pass us down here. I don't want to go side by side down here. That's just asking for trouble. Mute clonks the wall, but it's not hard enough to cause any real problems. Nine Tails has spun. Mute is into the wall, uh, but gets a, gets a half or gets a good enough turn to actually make the corner there. Uh, so Mute will have the lead. And you know what? I'm okay with that for the moment. Uh, there, there will be a chance. There will be time to recover it. We've got a couple of laps. Uh, I mean, the click is, is a pretty quick muscle car, actually. Uh, Nine Tails is doing well with just a boggo standard gauntlet. Although a lot of what happens around here, if you can stay out of trouble, uh, will, you know, will work wonders for you. Ooh, bloody hell, Childish absolutely whipped around the inside there. Uh, oh, there's Longbow. Longbow recovering. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Uh, all is fine. All is fine. Mafia in the middle of the corner there. Uh, we all managed to avoid... I mean, it's us versus versus Mute at the moment uh, with the slipstream. Oh, crap. I wanted the gap that Longbow got. <laughs> yeah. The Mute probably should have uh, dove to the inside earlier, but it's one of those you just couldn't... I was trying to judge how fast was Longbow's car going, and it's not easy to do. Uh, we were trying to go for a gap between uh, everyone. Oh, no. Oh, we actually got the checkpoint. <laughs> Fantastic. We got the checkpoint, and I think they all missed it, and they all got dropped back further. Uh, which is great news for me 
in so on. Mute got through. Ninetales got dropped back further. Oh, that wall is solid and has cost us every bit of momentum. That's a Chris. Ooh. We are fine. We are through the next part. Uh, Kasplat, thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, by the way, Atlanta has kept out of the way through there. Oh, Ninetales is right behind us. Ooh, that's bad. Ooh, that could have been a lot worse, though. It was bad. Could have been way worse. Ugh. I wanted to use the boost pad to get going. Oh, that is mute. That's not Gliska. Okay. The leader is not very... I, I was reading a super chat and I got distracted. And mute is just magnetically attracted to Longbow, it seems. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take any positions that we can get. Um, I mean, when we were second, any position we could get is to the lead. Uh, it was a bit of a gift, but I will definitely take the gifts when they... When they are handed to me. Oh, tried to sneak... No, point the right way. Oh, that's fine. Okay, lost a little bit of time. Mute is very, very close. You don't normally have really close finishes at uh, a brazen theft or any of these circuits. Oh, why have you done that, car? Oh, no. We've made it. We are actually across. We were completely out of control in the air. I don't know what we hit. We hit something and it bounced. And I was frantically trying to level the car out. And we managed to, we managed to stop the flat spin. Didn't really level it out. Chucked it across oh, a bit of the platform. And somehow it worked. There was... That was so much luck. There was a little bit of skill. There was a bit of in-air control. I got that car to point where... I got that car to point as good as I could with the tools available. But uh, it was... It, it was a lot of luck as well involved in that, not going to lie. Right, get the car off the tube here. Oh, why did we boost forward? I know. It's gone wrong. It's gone wrong. We got, it, it, hit a, it must have clipped the boost pad enough in that one that uh, it just got fired off to the side. Yeah, that line, it works, but it has its own hazards, really. It has as, almost as many hazards as a conventional line. Mute made it through this section no problem at all. And I don't think, unless Mute has an accident with Lombard, I pushed it too hard. Nah. I was desperately trying to catch up. Ah, I should have just set it for the second. It was, uh, it was a desperately try to catch up to Mute and hope something went wrong. Oh, we might still get second. There's, no, we might not. I thought we might do it because Ninetales got punted out of the way, but then we got punted out of the way as well. So... Yeah, Ninetales will get second. We will have to settle for a third place. We were in the battle for a while. However, um... Yeah. <laughs> it went a little bit wrong, unfortunately, at the end there for us. Uh, well done, Mew. It was a good race. We got fastest lap of the race. We did get 141. <laughs> monstrously quick. We were 10 seconds a lap quicker than Ninetales. That is the only time ever <laughs> that'll be a thing. Uh, oh, we didn't get fastest lap because Liam beat it. Of course Liam did. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, Mute takes victory. Ninetales does incredibly well actually because it's a standard gauntlet into second. Um, we end up third ahead of Childish. Liam is fifth ahead of Drake. Salmon, Mafia, nope. Valitane is now in eighth ahead of Mafia. And Ewan is actually driving. Um... Hello, Cascas. Cass. That was your big meow. That one might have got heard by stream. What do you want, mate? You literally spent all morning sat on my lap. You can't want more fuss. Normally, because you run away. Uh, Pone is trying the alternate line. Yeah, it's the... <laughs> you can get through the corner with a lot of speed that way, but the exit is very difficult to achieve. Uh, <laughs> the exit is very, very difficult to do on that line, because you've got to somehow try and rejoin the track at a really, really iffy angle. Oh, Longbow got the controller glitch. That would be... Uh, that would that would explain it. That would explain it. Um, right. Do bear with, for a second, uh, I am just quickly going to run and grab a drink. Uh, because my office is really, really hot. And, uh, well, I say really hot. 27 degrees, according to the thermostat in here. Uh, and I don't have a drink with me. So, yeah, just bear with while... Oh, I mean, yes, the job's, are, job's already bookmarked. Just, yeah, bear with. Cass, you're in charge of the stream. Give me a second.
Ah. Right. I am back. I have a drink. I am refreshed. I hope Cass looked after the stream. I hope he was well behaved. Uh, <laughs> exactly. You were, weren't you, Cass? You're a good boy. You don't cause much trouble, if any. I mean, that's pretty accurate. Well, outside of the bin. Uh, <laughs> knocking over the bin immediately at the start of the stream. It's definitely troublesome. Ah, right. Uh, races. Let's go. Uh, we're going on to the final page, and we are going to find something to... Uh, <laughs> just something called Sorry. I don't even know what that is. I can't, I can't even remember. <laughs> can't remember. Well, uh, some, of that. So, some of this stuff is just stuff we've been testing. Uh, what's... Oh, the terrible was the 30 minute. Uh, trap build. Oh, that's a survival race. <laughs> Some dumb stuff. Uh, I can't remember what. I can't remember what half of these bloody circuits are. Um, excuse me, Cass. I've just got a, a, a kitty cat randomly pouring at my arm. You really are desperate for attention today. Uh, called for... Oh, I remember this. this is quite a good try. We'll go for a big old stunt circuit. Uh, <laughs> um, sure, why not? Um, no, Ca Cass, is, uh, Cass is not short for Cassandra. Cass is short for Castiel. Uh, but yeah, get shortened to... get shortened to Cass. Um because my cats are all named after characters from Supernatural. Uh, which, uh, yeah, it's kind of fitting, because Cass is... Cass the cat is very much like Castiel the character in many ways. Um, so, there we go. Oh, and Eve's turned up as well. Well, that's going to be trouble. Uh, let's go. Everybody from last job. Uh, Zav, thank you very much for the donation. Say, please, may I request... The Ace of Blades to finish. I mean, you can. Don't think any of the filming crew are actually wanting to tackle uh, <laughs> Ace of Blades. Um, we might save it for another week. We might save it for another week, that one. Because um, <laughs> uh, it's a frustrating one, shall we say, for the filming crew to, uh, to, to fight through. But yeah, we might we might save it for uh, for another week on this one. Uh, so far, we've had a relatively frustration-free stream. Um, hello, Eve. Have you come to me out? Oh, Eve, don't no 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 no. You don't you sit in front of the TV. Hello. I mean, if you came around the corner of the microphone, you would have basically. I don't I don't know whether you would have heard those. Because she's meowing, but she's meowing into the wrong side of the microphone. Evie? No, of course you're not going to meow when I want you to. Hello. Go on. Meow into the microphone. You're literally right there. Nope, you're going to head about the controller right in here. What are you doing, you weird cat? She's being strange. Uh... <laughs> Well, now the cats have taken over the stream. Are you going to sit on my lap? I have... What was I filming? I was filming something that uh, she literally sat on the controller. Um, like, she was she was fully sat on the controller while I was trying to drive. I don't know how she was comfortable, because she just sort of sat there um, while I was, like, while I was trying to move the analog stick. Uh... <laughs> Uh, but she stayed there for like an entire ten minutes of a race or something, which is it was quite entertaining. Um, anyway, donation. Sorry, Chris. Thank you for the donation. Uh, saying the Ford Sierra and Ferrari F40 had the same drag coefficient of uh, minus zero, or no, I think it's just zero point three, zero point three four. I know which of the two. Don't get me wrong, Sierra Cosworth, a very nice car. However. Given a choice of a Sierra, even a Sierra Cosworth and a Ferrari, I'm going to take the F40. Mm -hmm. I, am, I 
am going to take the F40 of those of those. Two. Don't surprise me. I wouldn't have thought the Sierra was as, was was as aerodynamic as an F40, but there you go. There you go. The random the random Chris facts have returned. Um, Eve, that is a claw in my hand. You know how sharp those claws are. Well, you probably don't. Apollo does because you bat him around the face sometimes if he's being a pain. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> apparently, a Chris quotes. Uh, brazen and uh, brazen saga chris quote was an ice cream appeared in our streets today <laughs> i presume i'm gonna presume that that's an ice cream van is is what chris meant but that's still a funny way of phrasing it shall we go racing i think we will uh also fa stewards thank you for the nation saying a 10 second penalty to alex for the next race for all the penalties he missed uh for the fia system being broken for the past few months slash weeks hey jim that is how it works here at the fia right i believe yes they just randomly apply you know what sure okay i'll park for i'll park for 10 seconds uh at the start line we'll get our penalties out of the way <laughs> uh, uh unit thank you very much for the donation saying the cult of meow evie you've started a cult eve how are you comfy there well i'm driving with a cat on the analog stick oh Eve, I have got a cat literally flopped over my left hand, and I have claws in my left hand, with kind of in the knuckles. So I don't have. Me I can't really use the brakes, otherwise I get cat claws sticking into my uh, hand, which is not for the not really the best. Uh, okay, we will. I had to. I had to get off the line uh, to try and get out of the way as best as possible. I was more distracted by the cat. I think we stopped at about the three second mark, so here we go. Um, Darren makes a good point. Maybe someone just threw a Cornetto at Chris, but honestly, Cornettos are fantastic. Why would you Why would you throw one? Uh, I don't know what ice... I'm trying to think of a non-nice ice cream that you would throw at anybody, but I'm not, I'm not wasting a Cornetto. Cornettos are good. Uh, especially the strawberry ones. They're, fan they're, they're, they're one of the best ice creams. If this is very difficult, I really can't use the brake. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's a small problem. I'm not gonna ah, Evie claws, claws, claws. No, no. I yeah, I can't. I can't really use the brakes because if I go near the brake trigger, I get clawed. Um. Yeah, but Evie's just Evie's comfortable. Um. I, I my webcam isn't plugged in, and OBS gets funny if I try and plug it in halfway through. Plus, Eve would have moved by now. Um, but I, I can't show a cat cam, but yeah, I have a cat very much getting in the way and I can't use the brake. It's a new racing driver excuse, I'm not going to lie. If I go near the brake, I get stabbed by my cat. Uh, it is a new one. Uh, and I'm not sure the FIA are going to uh, really believe that one. Uh, my steering is slightly compromised, but it's less of an issue than the, uh, than the, than the stabbing going on. Oh... Eve, you weird chunky cat. Uh, all is fine. Um, yeah, you have you have you have a, you have an entire cult currently going on. Hello, Pwn. Uh, is this a Pwn circuit or is this a level eight? I can't remember who made this track. It's a cool circuit though. Uh, regardless. Uh, oh. Oh god. All is fine. I mean, to be fair, after a ten-second penalty at the start, we have recovered quite nicely. Um, as we head towards the. Oh, can I make that work? Yep. Whoa, oh, mostly. <laughs> we slightly, slightly misjudged it in bumping into Kevlar, but all in all, not too bad. Uh, oh, is that a crash up ahead? This section is sketchy. Nope, I think. Oh, no, there yeah, it was. Oh, hello. Brazen pinged off some stuff further around. Ah, oh, mercifully, I have access to the brake again. Eve has moved slightly. I mean, I still have most of her weight on my wrist, but never mind. <laughs> it's a good... It's apparently a good... How are you not uncomfortable, Eve? I'm literally... You're literally sat as I'm wiggling the analog stick trying to drive a car. Surely that's got to annoy a cat. Apparently not. Apparently she's quite, you know, comfy and everything, but still. Uh, mute with a big jump up ahead. We are going to pass Brazen. I mean, this is for 13th place, so... We're a fair way off the lead, but I think there's still a chance for us to uh, catch up to the leaders by the end of uh, 
by the end of this. Oh, there's some oversteer going on from the car. Uh, all is fine. Stevie smacked the wall. Gliska's trying the alternate route. That I, mean, I don't know whether it is actually quicker. It might be. It's very dangerous either way. <laughs> Whichever way you look at it. Um, there is someone up on the wall, and I'm not quite sure who that was. Liam, I think, maybe? Or Ninetales? Probably Ninetales, to be honest. Oh! <laughs> Chris, could there? We're not wrong. Oh, Eva's jumped off. Uh, <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, Griska definitely took the dangerous line. That that was that was a dangerous line. Managing to land. I was really hoping we were going to go underneath that car. That was my thought. I thought we were going to uh, go under before Gliska hit the ground. Um, uh, but we couldn't quite. It was, it was, I was essentially trying it for the spectacle more than anything. <laughs> but never mind, oh, we wandered a bit on the loop. That's not great. Although we will be fine. We haven't caused any problems for Mute. And we haven't had any contact around the loop. So there's a big group of cars at the front. I mean, there's still plenty of race to go. I think we could catch up if we don't have any any more mistakes, any more accidents. I think there's a good chance for us. Going side by side all the way through here with Mute, probably not the best idea. We will have a little lift uh, and we will sort that all out and then focus. I might have lifted a bit too much. We'll focus on Slipstream. Uh, come on. Are we close enough? Come on, game. There we go. Oh, you've got Slipstream in a really awkward place, but I'll take it. <laughs> it's it's some speed. We needed something. Uh, we'll make the most of it when when we can. Um, oh, that's too high. Oh, that's too high. And in a tree, mm, we've got away with it. Bad land. We lost a little bit of time there. A little bit foolish. However, we made it work. Oh crap! <laughs> oh, I probably should probably shouldn't follow a car into there. I was fully expecting... I wasn't. I just wasn't expecting to see a strike because the crash you have is normally on the way in, right? So we saw the purple car disappear into the tube. Presumed... Or it's been in that section. Presumed it made it through in one piece because uh, it didn't crash on the entrance. So I just followed it. And yeah, that was unfortunate. In, in some ways, I think we kind of helped Danger Man. We, we kind of fired it out of the tunnel, uh, which is better than nothing. But uh, yeah... Uh, that is just one of those what can you do moments yeah maybe oh that's also one of those big explosion moments heading towards the motorway <laughs> someone's having a bad uh, having a bad corner uh, up ahead so we might be able to make up some places uh, oh it's Lado by the looks of it Lado's stuck on the thing uh, I probably should have gone and give Lado a bump to be honest if I if I'd realized where it was and was able to get to it in time, I would have given Lado a bump just to get them off that that bit. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't realize in time where the car was. I didn't realize it was parked on the railing. I thought it was just stuck up against the railing. So a bump wouldn't help if it was stuck up against it. But yeah, oh well. Someone else is back on the roof again. Is it Ninetales? Is Ninetales still trying that line? Is it either Ninetales or Liam uh, trying the dangerous line? to the outside it is nine of course it is I should... <laughs> if someone's finding an alternate line and making it work it will be nine tails uh, <laughs> almost almost guaranteed uh, Lado has actually got free though from that uh, barrier which is good so they're still in the fight who is leading Salmon is leading uh, it's close between I can't actually see oh Chris you muppet <laughs> <laughs> oh we just had that little bit of contact that uh, stopped my car from steer. I mean, Chris, wait, it's completely unintentional, bump that one. But uh, it's that little bit of contact that the second it happens, my car steers violently into the contact, and then the contact's going to continue. It's just annoying. Uh, it's going to make life more difficult for, for us. I mean, this group is going to struggle. Oh, God, to catch. Because we're a little far... We're a little far back with two laps to go. 13 seconds. If the lead group get together and slow each other down a lot and have accidents, it might be possible. And if me and Chris can work together well in slipstreaming each other, and us, me, Chris, and Longbow can work together, slipstreaming could work. 
Especially if we catch up to Lado and start slipstreaming with Lado and all of that sort of stuff. Brazen's not a million miles away either. It might be doable. I don't know why Chris wanted to go over and take the jump. Always feels like that's a slightly slower way to go. Uh, okay, well, we got a lot of speed. <laughs> yeah, the jump was a slightly slower way to go. My slipstream to the inside and understeer was also not a very good way to go. Uh, oh, there has been a crash. Well, that is a good... I mean, it's not the whole pack. But there are more cars now, so there is more slipstream on offer. Salmon's had a big accident. Oh, no, Salmon's had a terrible lap from leading the race. Oh, we did not quite get our car as far away from Danger Man's as we wanted. There isn't anybody directly behind us, though. That is good. Uh, oh, we've gone for bravery. That was silly. That was very silly. It was, it was for the spectacular pass, and I will say, uh, Danger Man let us off in that one in that if Danger Man had kept the foot down, we would have had a tremendous accident and Danger Man didn't. Realised well, that was a bit mad by me. On, on this lap, probably shouldn't have gone for it. Final lap, yeah, you'd go for it. This lap, it could have gone really badly wrong. Um, it, was, it was a very ambitious uh, manoeuvre in a very narrow part of the track. So yeah, Danger Man lifted. And just to be fair, we were both it, w it would have been a bad accident for both of us, pretty much. Um, but yeah, that was a. <laughs> it, it was a, a sensible, a sensible moment to uh, to get out of that one. But it's unlikely be less. There'll be be less give and take on the final lap, of course. Um, we are st oh, we're still too far away. I think with all with all of the fighting, unfortunately, the danger man got connected with Chris a corner later, and I then had nowhere to go to avoid the shenanigans. So, uh, what could well, what can we do from here? Top five? Is that possible? I mean, pure pace? I don't think so. However, because we are a long, like we, we've passed Valentine and Chris now, which were the cars directly around us. It's a big gap to anyone up ahead. That being said, this is a crazy circuit. It doesn't take much for cars to get slowed down. Unfortunately, we have nobody to really slipstream with. We have nobody to really work with. I don't want cars behind to catch because there's a big group of them. So we run the risk of losing a load of places. Um, and I did. Uh, they're they're going to catch because they've got they've got enough vehicles to work together. They're going to bring the momentum towards me, and then I mean we might be able to bring that momentum towards Lado. Uh, oh no, Infernus! Don't end up out there. That was a lot of understeer through there. Right? Can we? Oh, did not think Chris was actually going to brave that one out side by side through there. <laughs> you don't normally go too wide through that section. Uh, it was a it was a brave maneuver. Oh crap, oh crap, go slipstream, go, 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 go. Oh. Now we are going to have to take the jump because we got fired that way anyway. Brazen and Danger Man are going to go side by side. Now, one of them is going to, they're both going to understeer quite high on that one. Uh, we are going to get a little bit of slipstream in the air, not enough to really do all that much. Okay, in towards the pier we go. Neatly enough done, no silly accidents from us this time around. Danger Man's gone over. I've tried to follow. Salmon's tried to follow. I don't know why I thought Danger Man knew where they were going. I thought that was going to be a good line. And then once I went up the top, I thought, okay, what you could do is you could, like, sweep around and drop down the other side and it'd be great. And then <laughs> I presumed Danger Man knew what they were doing and they didn't. Uh, I think there might be a way to do that, but you'd have to get it absolutely perfect. You have to be a lot more aggressive in the uh, airborne twisting it, basically. Oh, uh, Chris has had an accident in the movie studio. It's a horrible place to crash. It's so fast and so narrow there. Uh, we're back up to eighth. Is that Salmon having a look to the inside? We'll give space in case there is uh, a car looking there, in case it holds it through there. Uh, we'll run a bit high on that jump. That's fine. Oh, hello, Childish. When are you leading? Oh, there's a bump there. Did not know there was a bump there. Bloody hell, no idea there was a bump on that bit. Is that little spiky bit that came up out of the ground? Well, that's us, gone. <laughs> yeah, it's just been one of them races, hasn't it? It's just been one of those races that's been a bit... 
We didn't have a good start. We kind of recovered, but we never really recovered properly. We were involved in in silly bumps and shunts, and it's all just been a bit messy. Really. It's all just not gone well. Uh, and it looks like it's going to be 13th place for us. Looks like Mute may well have taken victory in this one as well. Bunch of cars across the finish line. Uh, yeah, it looks like Mute took victory from Ewan and Ninetales ended up in third. Uh, yeah, don't know what happened at the end. <sighs> Disappointed in myself. Could have and should have perhaps been better. Yeah, a post. A po well, I mean, we were already having trouble, but the post definitely uh, did not did not help matters. Um, oh well, it's thirteenth place. We will we will move on. Yeah, Muse has got two two wins in a row. You're using all your luck up in one go. Ah, uh, uh, FIA stewards, thank you very much for the donation. I uh, saying we refuse to punish Eve. But we will give you this consolation prize as not breaking is enough of a penalty. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. The, uh, <laughs> the Eve has wandered off now out of the office. Yeah, they're not, they're not breaking is quite difficult. But uh, <laughs> we survived. Thankfully, it's quite a fast track. So it wasn't like it was the most critical bit. Uh, also, FIA stewards thank you for another nation saying the nascar race in kansas is starting in 30 minutes uh okay i guess that's starting at well what would be eight o'clock our time i'd actually need to catch up on this season's races where did i get to i think i just watched cota i'm quite a bit behind uh yeah i think i think that was the last race i watched yes i did watch cota i can't remember if i watched the one after it or not i can't remember where the one after it was so is it bristol dirt after cota Maybe. I don't know. I have completely forgotten where I am with uh, with the NASCAR season. At some point, I will get around. I'll probably watch like all of them in a row, back to back, while I'm editing and everything. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll catch up. All uh, right, let's just do that. Okay, uh, let's go sports cars. That's fine. We'll have catch up, slipstream on, all of that. Hello, Cass. Um, well, Pone, I will. Send. I'll try and invite everyone from last job. Hopefully, that one will get to you at some point. Um, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. At least. Uh, hey, Cass. How are you doing, buddy? You're just wanting to headbutt my hand. Well, thankfully, I'm not. I'm not currently racing, so you can headbutt my hand while I'm not currently racing. The invite should be to your phone. That should work. Uh, hopefully. Looks like Pwn's getting connected. I don't know if we're going to have a Chris uh, going into this one. Um, Brazen, no dropping grenades. Oh, I can't change it. Why can I not change it, actually? That's a very good question. I must have I must have spammed across by accident. And now I cannot do anything. Don't shoot. <laughs> you know, I, I feel like it, I'm going to say it. It feels like it's an unwritten rule with what we do anyway, but um, yeah, don't don't shoot. I must have. I don't even know how I've managed to glitch that so that I now can't change it because we did a replay. It shouldn't even. It should always let me change it on that one. I don't quite know how that's happened. Uh, <laughs> But there we go. Yeah, don't, don't, don't shoot. And then we will, I think, be about as ready to go as we will ever be while I have a cat headbutting away. What are you doing, kitty cats? Um, right, I think we are ready. Also, I will, I do apologize. I was just scrolling back. I realized I actually got distracted while I was trying to read out, uh, um, uh, a super chat. It was from from Kasplat. I can't remember what was happening during a race, but there was something. Uh, who did say? Uh, Con Confucius says, "Man who runs behind car will get exhausted, but man who runs in front of car will get tired." You are going to get a boo from me. You will probably get a boo from chat as well for for that one. Unfor as unfortunately, we have heard it before. Um, 
But it is a, it is a very boo-worthy, a boo-worthy pun. I'm sure you got your boos at the time. Uh, apologies. So, super, the super chats can sometimes scroll and get lost um, a little bit easier, which is uh, always a pain. There we go. But yeah, I do I do appreciate the support, of course. Don't know what cars we're going to be racing here. Uh, Feltzer in the rain? That's a choice. <laughs> I, uh, I mean, if it's raining, is this race does this race work in the rain? I don't know. I mean, it won't be completely broken in the rain. I don't think. It just might be a little bit dicey and a little bit sketchy. Which is probably what all of chat wants to see. It's Okay, it's damp, but it is not a wet race. That it is good news. That is good news. Because uh, this will dry very quickly. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, we're going to go for a better... A better race? I mean, into the first quarter, we can't really tell. <laughs> Fair up until the final lap, you don't really know. Because, as I said, a lot can change up. Well, something purple is having a flight. I don't know whether that was a Stevie or someone else in this race, but uh, something purple was twisting and spinning around in the air. Kaliska's gonna brave that one, and it was a <laughs> it's a brave move, it was a good move. There was a gap for a Feltzer. We both got through there without any contact. We're on the edge, on the limit of grip with the cars, but uh, that was a good it was a good pass. And then the slipstream fest towards the loop begins. Nine Tails is going to go for a pass on as Drake's carrying a lot of speed up here. Slightly worried. Okay, we make it work through there without getting taken out. Oh, that wall comes up very quickly. I've made a very big mess of things, and we're all off. Did not see that wall until the last second. I presumed it was the bush, much like, well, you know, the bush it was hidden behind. And then once I hit it, I did a very big wheelie. Funnily enough, when your car is doing a wheelie, you do have problems avoiding an accident. So, yeah, sorry to... Uh, you and Danger Man and Drake. I oh, that corner's flat. I gotta remember that corner's flat. Oh, Ewan. <laughs> oh, and Ewan's got dumped off the circuit. Oh, well. I mean, it was quite funny, uh, but not not ideal. Oh, Valtrek with a huge amount of slipstream has come flying past. Shadows parked. There's trouble going on there. Um, I mean, it's going to basically try and be another recovery drive for us here. Oh, crap. We got loads of slipstream in the air on that one. Landed on the back of Chevy, but everything is. Oh, we've made it work. Uh, there's been a crash to our left. Thankfully, different part of the pier. We are through in one piece. Liam is looking to make a pass stick. They're up high. I mean, that's fine. They can try. I and mean, they might actually get the pass worked on us. They're side by side with Jamie. This is not where you want to go three wide. I'm out of it. Um, and that's why. That's why you don't want to go three wide down there. I'm very glad I decided to tap the brakes. We just got out of the mess. Whoa, through that section. Danger Man, a horrible place to spin through there. Uh, it, there's no safe way to rejoin from that from that section. Danger Man did as best they could. We thankfully had enough grip and enough time to dodge out of the way of that. And we are going to come out of all of this in... Whoa, seventh, but it will not be seventh for long because we have spun in an awkward place, and I don't know if I can really recover from this quickly. Ah. Uh, yeah, so we ended up diving... Oh, felt it doesn't get over there very well. So Gliska had a spin, and we dove to the inside to try and avoid. Um, I don't think Gliska realised we were going with speed to the inside, so we got squeezed and then just lost the back end. It has been a terrible first lap. It has been a truly terrible first lap for us. Can we recover from here? In this time we have, it's going to be tough. We know there's going to... This is the previous race. We know there's going to be mistakes. We know there's going to be crashes. We know there's going to be problems. This is not a track where things are easy. If we can slipstream and work together with cars, we could definitely make up some ground. How much, though... I am not sure. Uh, there are a few cars making that 
that wall ride line work? I don't quite know the line around there. And I feel like I'm going to spend more time... I'm going to lose more time trying to figure out how to get around that cleanly than I would gain in the one lap where I get it right. So that's why I'm opting to go for just the line that I know. It might not be the fastest way around a tr around the track there, but it's kind of a safe bet. Is that uh, Danger Man's not having a good race either? <laughs> uh, oh, I tried to pull it to the left, but I couldn't get the car turned. Uh, again, we had another moment of slight miscommunication of cars wanting to. Uh, I think cars wanted to get out of the way, but uh, not quite having the space to go. Uh, can we? We might get this pass completed. I think Danger Man's going to run out of grip. Oh, oh, we're going to run out of grip as well. That's such a horrible bloody corner. It's just, <laughs> you turn in and you think, right, I'm fine. I've got grip. I've got grip. I've got grip. And then all of a sudden, it just because it's un it's off cambered. Just all of a sudden, no grip is had. And yeah, you're in loads of trouble. If we race downhill. Uh, we're again side by side, not really helping anybody. I think Danger Man lifted and ducked back into line. Because yeah, the slipstream is a better way to go. Uh, Danger Man, around the outside. We'll move up to that 14th place. We are 15 seconds behind Ewan. 15 seconds in a couple of laps. I mean... Catch up is powerful here. Slipstream is powerful at this track. Although Danger Man's managed to get far enough away. Uh, man got a little bit of a toe off the purple car that I think we're going to struggle. Uh, uh, we might be able to catch back up to Danger Man here. And as I said, there's probably going to be a few more spins and crashes before the end of this race. Uh, we're sort of hoping. We're hoping for them, but hoping for them not to be directly in front of us. Because we've had too many of them. Cars flying overhead. It's spectacular. I will give I will give you that. It was without a doubt a, uh, a spectacular one. We will jump down here. Oh, please don't uh, twist and lose control. We have Jamie directly behind us. Okay. Well, this time we are better off on the wall than we have been. Oh, big accident. Uh, where's the gap there? <laughs> Oh, I mean, yeah, there's not really, there's not really a great place through there. Charles really should have waited before trying to turn around in an already very narrow point. Uh, yeah, there, there wasn't many great options. However, in that instance, if, you, if you're, so you're stuck in that slip road, right? There's no way you can go. You best just reverse straight back. Don't try and J-turn it, because you're just going to end up... Whichever way you go, you're going to end up blocking somebody, right? So you're better off just going for a reverse straight until you're in a wider wider place. Because uh, the chances are that's going to be your quicker way to get turned around. Uh, not only do you affect less people's races, but... Oh, Salmon, you brave lunatic. <laughs> it worked. I'll give you that. It worked. But uh, if I had got any more understeer through that corner, you would have had a bad day. Uh, thankfully, I did not. We are battling over 7th place at the moment. The leaders are a fair way ahead, but we've closed the gap. It's down to about 7 seconds now, so... Oh, don't crash off the loop. It wanted to twist. So yeah, there's a chance by the end of the race we might catch the leaders. At the rate we're catching them, we will catch by the end of the race, essentially. Uh, okay, the Salmon has backed out of it. We are struggling for grip. Yeah, that liner just did not have enough grip on the outside. Salmon actually did, did the very smart thing. Backed out of it on the way into the corner and just waited for, in that case, us to make a little error and uh, get too... Oh god, get too carried away. Brazen's to the outside. Nightels has had trouble. Ewan's had trouble. In fact, we are going to catch the leaders by the end of this lap. Because that was the, that's the leaders up ahead. Gliska are mute. Uh, Ewan got punted over the jump, and it did not go well uh, for the Frosty Gold Machine. Valentine is, is streaking towards the leaders, although we have even more speed in our car. And we will hit the front of the race. We lead for the first time. In this one, other than off the start line, of course, because of post advantage. Uh, Gliska's fallen off the top of the banking. Oh, and we had a coming together on the tube, just trying to judge where the other cars are. Not always the easiest. Um, I, I think we might have lost the back slightly. 
it's yeah, <laughs> an unfortunate, an unfortunate meeting on the tube for me and Mute. But the, the other uh, unfortunate thing, in some ways, is we've got a very big gaggle of cars. A big gaggle of cars is sketchy. Valentine over in the middle of the tube. Somehow, no one else is really collected by that. That's a miracle. Uh, but we are, we are through. The leaders, I mean, they're all in front of us here. Nine Tails is the leader. Mute tried to sneak up the inside. That's not where I would want to put my car personally, but it did work uh, in all of this. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Uh, well, oh crap for you and, and someone else. Yep, they've made a real mess of that. They got so much speed and slipstream. I was, <laughs> see, I was worried about landing wonky. Wasn't as what I wasn't worried about jumping off the circuit, but I think you should be if you get a lot of slipstream down there on the wrong line You legit are going to fire off the circuit. I think that's you and maybe down and out I think danger man got it back on the track at least. Uh, yeah, you has gone <laughs> Where is you and where is you actually? You uh, is 16th now. Yeah, that's that's the end of you race. I suspect um Danger Man recovered it back onto the circuit. Okay. Ninetales is still making that alternate line work, which is, I mean, it's impressive. It's Brazen and Drake ahead of us. Now, we know it's not going to stay like this. Catch up being as powerful as it is, slipstream powerful, all that. The group behind are going to catch before the end of this lap. How many are going to join in the fight? I don't know. They may well end up having accidents before they get to us. Ninetales is... Uh, heading this way, as is, I think, Gliska. Uh, yep. And then Mute is not too far back, and then there's a purple car, or either Stevie or Valtrek. Gliska fires past. Uh, we are a little bit twisted, a little bit uncomfortable on the loop. Uh, sorry, Brazen, I was trying to get my car under. <laughs> we got a bit sideways, a bit squirrely on the way up to the loop, but uh, yeah, it has all, it did all get recovered, at least. This corner being the site of many a trouble for cars. Nine tails out wide. We do cover that inside. Gliska's looking around. There's no gap for us there. And the problem is, of course, being side by side, we have to lift a lot more than you would normally. Uh, we will get some slipstream off of Brazen down here. Not as much as Drake. Although Drake's car does not look like a Feltzer anymore, but still. They're going to overshoot massively with all that slipstream. Gliska lands and uh, with the back of Gliska's car doesn't really look very healthy anymore either. I'm not going to really put myself in trouble. Ninetales is doing the sneaky. I mean, that's a great line if you get her. It's a great line, although you don't really gain much when you're being slowed down by catch-up. <laughs> it looks amazing, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it looks really cool, but oh, don't go side by side into the into the pier. <laughs> Let's go wise to back out of that one. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I, I was on a slightly funky line, as you know what. Let them go, let them sort themselves out. Uh, oh, nope. Landed on Ninetales' roof, but all is fine. I've got it's already too wide in front. All the slipstream in the world is not a good idea down here. Not going to ever make it three wide through this section. Me and Ninetales get away with a side by side moment. Oh, Mute, don't move across. Uh, <laughs> Mute did not realize we were still there. Brazen's going to round a lot of us up on the outside, although Brazen has no rear end grip. Mute slides as well. Oh, Ninetales is on the roof! Ninetales is on the roof! Scoops up a mute in all of that. Like I said, yeah, Ninetales' big jump bounced off of our roof. Scoops mute up. Uh, we get... Oh, we got a push. That is not what we needed. That is not what we needed at all. Ah. Uh, and now I can't get going at all, and the whole thing's blocked. Me and Gliska were nicely set, and then we got a shove, and that's that screwed us. I think it's going to be Brazen that takes victory. No one is going to be close enough, I don't think. Unless Brazen makes a mistake through these final few quarters, no one is going to be close enough to do anything about Brazen, even with catch-up being super powerful. I say that. Oh, I say that. I got carried away trying to make make time down there. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, again, there's another one where I should have just settled for the position. Ah. I don't actually quite know what happened at the end of that one. Um, but there we go. Uh, well, who won? Danger Man took victory in the end. Ninetales was second. Gliska was third. I don't know what happened with Gliska and, and Brazen. Brazen just seemed to stop almost. Um, yeah. 
sloppy, sloppy by us. We ended up, yeah, silly, silly, silly error. Uh, trying to chase down the lead too, just pushed it too hard and wandered off the circuit like a fool. Ah, Danger Man with a very quick lap time. A very quick lap time indeed up at the front. Sorry, I should have a drink there. Um, Chris, thank you very much for the donation. Um, so during development of the uh, FDRX7, Mazda bought uh, new Porsche 944s. However, when they, they returned them, they left a part under the passenger seat by accident. Uh, instead of returning it, Porsche sent a letter saying, good luck on your new model. <laughs> Can't wait to see it. <laughs> oh, I mean, obviously, as you say, we've, we've seen some of these, we've heard some of these before with companies sort of buying each other's sort of cars and messing about with them and, and all of that kind of stuff. So, <laughs> so uh, you know, at least Porsche were a good sport about it. Um, so, yeah, it's always, it's always interesting, always interesting to see what they... Uh, what they've what they've got up to with with some of those, but yeah, glad, glad to hear Porsche were good sports. Um, I can't imagine Ferrari are when people do that to Ferraris and so on. But uh, <laughs> there we go, there we go. That is going to be it's going to be the end of this stream. That is going to be it. I hope you have all enjoyed some GTA Five. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Ah, oh, could feel that one coming. Had warning. Couldn't do anything about it to stop it anyway. Um, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this GTA stream. Yeah, it's been a little bit earlier in the day. Um, yeah, hope hope you've enjoyed this one. I've had some good fun races. There has been some close, some close battles, some good battles, uh, some silly racing, some chaos. You know, the usual stuff along the way. Uh, it's now time to go watch Formula 1. Uh, the Fair Race episode will be out a little bit later on as well. For those interested in watching that, won't, won't be, that'll probably be scheduled for 9, I should think. Uh, so yeah, that'll be out in a little while. Um, I will be back next week streaming. I'm not quite sure what. There will be a stream on Wednesday. There will be a stream on Friday. And there will be a stream on Sunday, probably. Um, but I'm not 100% sure what games are going to be. Uh, streamed when if, if Carly's around it's likely to be the long drive on Wednesday that's the plan but you know, yeah plans change and everything so I hope you will be able to join me for for all of those that though is going to be it for for this stream that is going to be it from me a very big thank you uh, to all of you for watching a massive thank you of course to those who donated um, whether it be Super Chat whether it be Streamlabs it is all uh, very, very much appreciated indeed. And let's hope we have an exciting Miami Grand Prix. Fingers crossed and everything. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be it from me. Until next time, uh, yeah, goodbye. <laughs>